Nah, you know. Legal. Did FIFA got a creative team on that bitch? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. That shit be called. You go do ultimate team. And she, can you can you customize the way the shit look? The jerseys and shit. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, that shit. <coughs> they need to make that shit like uh, like fucking. They got the technology too, cause 2K uh, WWE does it. To where you can import your own logos and shit. Graphic shit. Yeah. Know. They ain't fucking EA bitch ass uh, fucked up when they try to do the whole face scan thing. Yeah. I ain't seen them add that shit back in there since then. I don't need face scan. I need logos. I need That's all I need. Yeah. <laughs> I need. Yeah, they can. I need logos in that bitch. Look, I got another one. Warner Bros. rejects Ice Cube. Free Punch. Oh, that Friday shit. He got it. He not. They not. Last Friday won't come out, bro. It's just, it's just not gonna happen. Nah, that movie ain't coming out. Motherfuckers need to give up on that shit now, and, bro. And it's only cause it's not cause they don't want to do it, nigga. It's Warner Bros. It's Warner Brothers and Chris Tucker. Cause I thought, uh, Chris thought Tucker. Give me a hell yeah! I said, give me a hell yeah! As uh, DC's dad. Yeah, they said that shit, but I'm saying like. The behind the scenes shit. He said that shit because, you know what I'm saying? He had to give it out, but. Oh, we guessing the T? Okay, so he say I could probably got on the grid of that? Okay, bet that, Quincy. What oh, is uh, Archie wearing, God damn it. That was legitness. Yes, the Kool-Aid man's shirt. Oh, my God. Smoke weed every day. That was legitness. at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Legitness. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this shit on this one, dude. Alright, pull up the, uh, pull it up. I got the logo, bro. Yeah, if you go up there. 
shit where you should be able to change like videos and stuff like that. He said it should be some. Uh, oh no, nah, he said it shouldn't even been. He said you should have been able to go like straight to the live feed. I did that, but it's saying to do something else with the kids. Yeah, that's what doing. It's trying to have you act as a page. I'm saying like to do the moderating thing, I can't be on the page because the page is gonna act like I'm trying to start up a live when I already got the live over there. You gotta be on your profile and then go into the. Uh, and then go and click on those three dots over there. Ain't no shield pop up. Is there a shield right there anywhere? That's it. So I'm saying interactive, what's called this shit and then go from here. Let me know it. Yeah, we gonna go ahead and uh <laughs> Nah, I mean we live, yeah. Well they about to just go ahead and switch us over. Yeah, nah, this is real quick. <laughs> Nope, this ain't that old DTKA shit, y'all. We rocking that Kool-Aid up in here. Poa Pope, I saw some of y'all talking about a green, a gray muscle tea. Hey, Marcel, what's happening, man? Poa, what's good with you? Sorry, my dumb ass hit the, uh, hit the wrong button and shit like that. But, hey, we got a whole lot of crazy shit to pull up in this thing right here. Where y'all at, though? Where y'all at, though? Marcel Whitman in the house rocking with us. One question, what is a Velma? Are you serious? Perry, Perry trolling like a son bitch. I know he know. I know he know about that glutes. Oh, I know he knows say. about. I know he knows about that Belma. It can't be for real. What's going on, y'all? First of all, all y'all were wrong if y'all say muscle tea anything like that. Nope, didn't do it like that. We actually we rocking the DBZ right now and shit like that. Don't mind my ashy ass shorts. That's work related. How the hell are y'all doing? I am not motherfucking prepared. What the fuck am I doing? Leaving my topics over here and shit. Doing the damn thing, homie got a <laughs> fat ass backwood up. I'm actually about to fucking match, probably not the size, but at least have one up in the air. I just fucking saw that Raw got some motherfucking organic hemp fucking uh, Disney. So a nigga gonna try some of them hoes too. Uh, yeah, right. But shit, uh, I'm gonna keep it traditional. You know what I'm saying? Rock yeah. what the fuck I'm used to. Yeah. And shit, we gonna keep it going. But hey, y'all, we got a lot of fucking shit to talk <laughs> about, y'all. Hey, William, thank you so much for that like, bro. We got a lot of shit to talk about, y'all. We gonna talk about uh, the new Wakanda trailer. Yes, we gonna talk about this lesbian Velma situation. Uh, we got House of Dragons, talk to get to. Know y'all been fiending for that shit like Jodeci. We got some uh, what the fuck type shit to go on. We gonna actually talk about sports. And I need y'all paying attention because sooner or later I'm going to drop a prompt. And that's going to be for y'all to go ahead and pull up y'all's topic request. So anything y'all want us to talk about, you just pull that shit up right there and there and we'll get to it. You know what I'm saying? But make sure y'all stay <laughs> sipping with us because we got a banger, banger of a motherfucking show for y'all tonight. For real, for real. A banger of a show. Yeah, really what it look like over there? Still giving you trouble? It's not giving me trouble. The only way it's looking is, is the actual... What's call it? And you can still scroll up and see it's just smaller. I'm trying to see if there's a way that we can do it together. Yeah, so it's just doing the same thing or whatever. Fuck it, just pull it up. We'll roll with the comments or whatever. That way we don't waste too much time on it mm -hmm. and shit like that. But we could go ahead and jump this bitch off with, uh, let's go ahead and talk about these McDonald's Happy Meals and shit. What's, what's really popping with those? Because I see a lot of the motherfucking, kind of like what we was watching right now, a whole bunch of people acting like Kyle Broflowski. With the uh, with the cynicism and shit, I've been seeing people really quick to talk shit about these kids' Happy Meals. Now, we're only doing this. We're going to get to the lesbian Velma thing. we just letting sippers troll, you know what I'm saying, roll in 
and uh, <coughs> pull up on that pole, and we're going to get to it. But really want y'all's thoughts on these McDonald's ha- uh, adult Happy Meals because right, look, 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 I've been saying a lot of people trolling. I don't even know McDonald's, what's going on. McDonald's is giving adults a blast from the past and adults only. The fast food chain will sell adult Happy Meals and include nostalgic toys in the signature box. On October 3rd, customers can purchase a cactus plant flea market box. 10-piece chicken McNuggets on a Big Mac meal with fries and a drink and receive an oddly familiar toy. Toy. The new meal is in collaboration with the streetwear brand, hoping to tap into the hearts of loyal customers. Uh-huh. Happy Meals will also be served in the OG box, including the M outline of the top of the box. The toys include redesigned takes on McDonald's famous mascots <laughs> like Grimace, Hamburglar, Birdie, plus a new one to the crew named Cactus Buddy. Spokesperson for McDonald's released a statement regarding nostalgic meals. We're talking one of the most nostalgic McDonald's experience and literally repackaging it in a new way that's hyper oh, relevant for our violation. <clears throat> Uh-oh, call your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's hyper relevant for our adult fans. So basically they repurpose it. It's not necessarily the same toy, they slightly redesigned. So for people that's collectibles and shit, you can go get the new version of Grimace and the new version of Hamblur. Not bad, though. <coughs> because, let's be real, some of the old toys we got were shitty. Yeah. We got some shitty shit, some cheap shit back in the day. And with the way inflation and shit like that, show us where our fucking money been going. Uh, not for real. For real, you know what I'm saying? As many motherfuckers say, as much money y'all done made off that dollar menu. Hey, them arm, I need Kung Fu grip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I need motherfucking... <laughs> Portia fucking with it. She said, I'm fucking with the Happy Meal on God. Oh, yeah? I've oh, yeah? a couple people get their toys, and they, a lot of people that, like, people my, uh, I went to school with, they ain't, been, they ain't been complaining about it. They been fucking with it. They done posted it. It's like, <laughs> they say adult like Happy years. Meals, but what? where are they? How far are they going <laughs> back, though? There's no liquor. That's all I... I mean, the name the people that they're... they're no, like, I'm saying, though, like, it's like, like when it comes to, like, to- like toys and... It's things and stuff like that. Are they going back to like nine, mid nineties and up in the two thousands? Grimace, Grimace, Hamburglar, Birdie, plus the new one, Cactus. What's called it? And for a picture, it's just a. It's basically, they... it's the same ones as back in the day, but they got like double eyes. Oh, okay, you know okay, I mean? got you, got you, got you. So it's not just random toys. Those are gonna be the toys that they giving out with the Happy Meals. Okay, that's yeah. a bet. They repack, they redid. You basically they remade some old toys type shit. Rest yeah. in Paradise, Kim Jong Ji. Who, who was that, Ty? Got a feeling that's a wrestler. Yeah, Ty, you got to hit me with that one. Uh, nigga, I need that. You got it. You good? It, I mean, that's, that's who the is Kim Jong Un? Yeah, 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 I don't, I don't know. Y'all know who that is? No, nah, I'm, I don't. I said, what's a grimace? A taste bud or what? <laughs> Bro, you wild. You wild for that shit, man. But he is in this bitch thugging. Adult Happy Meal is a ribeye, baked potato, and a cocktail. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry, that sounds kind of... Ugh. Let the... Man, baby, you ain't lying. Let them throw that in the Happy Meal box, nigga. I'm gonna hey. fuck it up. $10? That ain't bad. Hey, motherfucker gonna bust through that drive through multiple times. This <laughs> shit <laughs> real deal. Oh, God, I made that real shit. Times a day. Oh, Marvel Comics illustrator? Okay, I gotta go see what... Uh, what all he contributed to. Yeah, who, who, was his, who, did he, who did he draw, like, mostly? Who was he famous for drawing and shit? That way I can really... Related. I ain't trying. I say RIP for sure because it's like fuck, that, it's fucked up. But. Peace. God damn it. I want to relate to it too. You got to be able to personalize some of this shit. God damn it. No, no woods over there. Now hold on. Now the Perry you says, know, okay, wish I kept those Happy Meal toys from the 80s and shit because some are worth a fucking fortune. I'm nah, like sure. facts though. Like this is why we tell people don't get like live in the moment, but don't get so caught up in it because shit that you just may be eh, whatever. Is a fucking collectible now. Like I was over the vacation and shit like that. Y'all know me watching fucking wrestling and shit like that. Wrestling. So me and my girl watching wrestling and shit, and they had a uh, ad in there with trading cards. Now at the time when this shit was out, motherfuckers was like, oh yeah, who uh, ain't no value in them right now. I see Stone Cold every day. I see Shawn Michaels and these niggas every day. Yeah. Now you go back and you look at these cards. If you were sitting on them bitches now, whoo, shit worse. Cake. Up. I'm telling you. Cake. So it's so like I feel what y'all saying as far as wishing that y'all kept y'all toys. I wish I kept toys, fucking electronics. Cause me, I used to be one of them motherfuckers. As soon as I got a new game system or something like that, it was fuck the old shit. That's how I used to be as a kid, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Scott McKenzie, pull up. Oh shit. Uh, Y'all see, I can't stop rubbing my eyes. Something's fucking me up right now. Allergies? <laughs> I don't know, man. Something's fucking my eye up right now. I can't get it out. 
Uh, you say, I just got my Archie Red action figure, and he looks like a fucking dark magician. That, oh, shit. So you going to just Yu-Gi-Oh me like that, Alexa? You just going to come up in here and Yu-Gi-Oh me like that? You want to duel like that? That's what we doing now? That's racist. <laughs> why he got to be the dark magician? You know what? Good he, point. Why couldn't he be the light magician? Oh, yeah. <laughs> light skin magician. Mulatto magician. Yeah, I said that. Uh, That's right. We go there. What the fuck you talking about? Too many people wanting to hold their tongues on shit. Nah, I'll bump that. We go in there. Uh, Motherfucker said you used to be like that as a kid. Motherfucker, you like that now. <laughs> For sure, why? Oh, man, y'all some fucking, y'all some fucking, y'all some hounds, man, but I love that shit because, see, that roasting, that's what we do in real life. Like, when you with the homies and the fam and shit like that, we, like, you roasting, like, you ain't even got to do shit. And why he just look at that nigga like that? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, man, this, we, somebody, somebody fired each other up before we went on the live. Who did it? Yeah, that nigga boy. I had to re-roll it, motherfucker. Said that bitch fell apart. <laughs> oh, she say, cause dark magician, fucking awesome. Oh, okay. I, okay, look, now you got me back with a good comeback, cause you're right. Yeah. So I can't be mad. Dark magician girl, like. <laughs> but on top though, it sound like a roast though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Adult Happy Meal should have shots of liquor and pack of Marlboro Reds. See, if they would have did it during Corona when places was able to give you to-go liquor and shit, you right. That shit would have been lit. Hey, I know Quincy. Uh, you could keep the Marlboro Reds, so though. Just give me a pack of Marlboro Reds. I was about to yeah, say, yeah. I know Quincy real. That nigga said Marlboro Reds, boy. They boy. smoke them, them cowboy killers. Man, I'm telling you, boy. Hey, 10 bucks say my man drive a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Extended bed in and the back he of got, he got, And he got a revolver in that bitch. Boy, a shotgun hanging <laughs> in the window. <laughs> Okay. And I guarantee you, he got more white homies than black homies. Oh, God. And he got a pack of dicks. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Half of his clothes Cowboy is camouflage. For real. Half of his fucking, what's called, his fatigues and, and camouflage and shit. That's half his clothes. If there is a wall, my man is standing up on that bitch like, <laughs> with the leg up, posing and shit, got that cowboy pose and shit. Oh, God. Leaned up against the, hey, my man will pull up to Jay and Silent Bob and shit. Insert Quincy right there standing just like that. Shit is fucking why you say you and I are watching a live video. Okay, bitch, I know I'm watching a live video. That should be crazy. This shit's wild though, bro. You probably stand like this on the regular on the corner. <laughs> this nigga that never come across the line. Never Always ready in that bitch. Like, I got that police stance. Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Every time somebody walk by, he tips his hat. How you doing? How you My doing? gun rack got a gun rack. <laughs> the gun rack got a gun rack on it. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the two of us. There's five of us in here. <laughs> just say, just, just start quoting shit. Just start quoting cowboy shit that don't even fucking fit the situation. Nah, it's Scott Wayne, Pilgrims. Wait, wait, wait. John Wayne, whatever the fuck that nigga Yeah, Scott is. Wayne's a sipper for real. Yeah, know, hey, but hey, no, but it worked though. It worked. Oh, yeah. That's my nigga. <laughs> that shit work. Hey, let's give a shout out. We got the homie Tyler Smith pulling up in here. Doing the motherfucking thing. I see y'all up in here rocking with us. Stay sipping. Pull up. Let's see. He says, uh, niggas gonna be pulling up saying, okay, never mind. Late. Late. I'm over here looking at you the damn Texan. Either your ass got a bull somewhere or you know your ass walking around with a gun. <coughs> the latter. I think he said, he said I keep it on. Now, hey, now here's the thing, though. See, you got your bulls, then you got longhorns and shit, so you got to specify when you come down here. Because motherfuckers be driving by. If you go on a road trip through the countryside, especially down here in Texas, you will pass by a ranch or some shit when you on the countryside. And look, oh, man, look at that bull. That whole be a whole longhorn and shit. Oh, hey, look, it look like I'm reaching into the light. But but uh, by the way, <laughs> hey, you gonna hey, you gonna smell the bulls like, when you see them? You say you gonna smell the bulls when you see them? Yeah, especially like you. Oh, uh, Bradley, passes, you gonna smell them passes for you even get. Oh, three, hey, that five, manure five gonna be kicking up off the ground. Hey, yeah, that shit like, gonna hey, hit. What's up we with the clutch? I say copied in this. Hey, and if depending on how they treating the land out there, there may be some shrooms out there. You know what I'm saying? Go flip you a few Let's go, Cal Tippin'. Hey, that's how I got mine back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, hey, I'm just being real. Peter, fuck what you talking about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's See, that? Look, a, statute of limitations. Can't fuck with me. Is he? I prefer the He that country. country. I ain't that country. Whatever the fuck I'm city talking. country. He that country to where he playing bull running and shit. He running from there. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. And we can ride some horses like I was talking about <laughs> and shit like that. But that bull, mm-mm. Nope. 
Y'all ever seen uh, Wild Hogs? What's that shit? They did the bull slap. Oh! They slap it up on the ass. That was, it was John Travolta. <laughs> Uh, who else is up in that hole? Uh, uh, we gotta go to Brazil. John Travolta, uh, no, 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 Chris no. Rock. Uh, uh, we gotta Mar- go to Martin Lawrence. No, Martin Lawrence, that's who no, it was. We gotta go to Rio and do a jackass deal. That bull run that they be having. Oh, yeah, I'm down. That's Rio. Rio. Take off in Mexico, go <laughs> run with the bulls. <laughs> hey, nigga, you be doing cardio, don't you? <laughs> Archie gonna be gone, nigga. <laughs> I'm be like, Archie, hey, Archie, hey, Archie gonna be in that bitch. Perfect form. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, hold on, nigga. <laughs> that nigga say, look, I ain't doing that shit. Hey. <laughs> Here, story, and I don't. I may have told this story on the podcast before. I may have told y'all this story, but I probably was maybe three or four years old, and I was living with some white folks at the time. My mama didn't want me. <laughs> Sent me off and shit. I was on the farm, and uh, they thought it'd be a good. Oh, hey, just sit him on top of the cow, cause they one of the motherfuckers. One of the motherfuckers was there was riding the cow. I boosted that he was riding the cow. Like a horse. I know niggas yeah, ride cows. Yeah. yeah, you can ride anything. Motherfucker you know. put me on the top. On the top. That, for some reason, I don't know. Maybe I, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I had a dirty pull up or some shit like that. A booger in my nose or something. But as soon as they sat me on top of this freaking cow, if I shared this story, pull up some cups. If I haven't shared this story, pull up some cups. Hold on, hold on. Is it's, story time? Is it story time? Is it, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. It's soon. Hold on, let me wait for it. You get the blue story time. We get. All right. It's not the police story. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say yeah, they, they, they should have came out because this was a felony charge. But uh, pull up. So as soon as they sent me on the back of this freaking cow, right? Not even full grown. This motherfucker knocked me off its back. Damn. Shoved me. Uh-huh. Was not fucking with Archie. And then pissed on my first <laughs> pair of boots. <laughs> I bullshit you not. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> he bullshit you not. This motherfucker knocked me off the back, shoved me, and then pissed on my boots. It was the first pair of boots I ever owned. Matter of fact, the first and last pair of boots I've ever owned. I haven't owned a pair since then. Oh, True wow. story. So now nah, we, we 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 not we not bull riding. We not bull riding. Bradley, we, we not bull running. We not bull running. Bradley say bull riding fun. I slap a bull. That's how ass. Bradley. I, I know you are one of the crazy motherfuckers, and you are on my survival team. But see, he Georgia Southern though, so he you know what I'm saying he got that. He, he he's don't know on something. my survival team. Bradley, go tame that horse guy. Hey, <laughs> dog, real shit though. Real shit though. And I know, I know, we we sounding very stereotypical. Like man, I knew that motherfuckers wore nothing but cowboy hats and did all that bullshit <laughs> down there. We in the Metroplex like a oh, son bitch. Oh God. But yo. Put respecto on them bull riders, though, because if y'all know anybody who's done that shit for real, you got to be a tough motherfucker for that shit. That Just like right. boxing and football, ain't no pussies in that shit, for real. You got to respect them. Nah, man. yeah, them bull bro, if you ever see a nigga that get, like, get fell bro. off and then like they accidentally get stumped on or bro. they get kicked or whatever. That be the longest 12 seconds of their fucking life. Oh, I God. swear to God, bro. They be on that bull for about 15 to 16 seconds, nigga. Pissing boots. <laughs> Pissing boots. Bradley said I was drunk one night, paid three hundred to get them to let me ride my first one. Damn, nigga. I'm not paying Brad, shit to I, ride I, a I, bull. I, I'm damn sure not paying. They paid me, <laughs> but but I'm not. Ah. Quinn <laughs> said we built four tons. <laughs> but hey, at least if he was drunk, at least he got the benefit of not feeling shit. Nah, I'd rather feel that shit afterwards, bro. <laughs> like, I, it ain't, cause once you just wake up and got it, now you just gotta deal with it. Ain't shit that you can do. No, nah, cause my drunk ass gonna hit the floor after I get off the board. I ain't gonna know where to run. I'ma look. I'ma like, oh, where am I going? <laughs> Which way do I? <laughs> nah, real talk. Rodeo clowns <laughs> get respect. When I, when no, I was younger, rodeo clowns get crazy respect, cause they be doing crazier shit than even the like oh, uh, master, the matadors and all that. Yes, sir. Too. Like, and they, they get stuff. fucked up just as much too. Them motherfuckers be getting abused. Yeah, nah, for real. Redheaded stepchildren. If y'all haven't been. No rodeo, the motherfuckers be live. I might have to, we might do one of them hoes somewhere in Texas. Oh, you, you know, know what? We have them it's first season. Yeah, I'm about to say, we, we got to check uh the Mesquite uh mesquite rodeo right there. Quincy, Bunch I don't know. Just don't, it's, don't ever drive around Texas, fam, because if you racist. hit any highway in Texas and you in the fast lane, trust me when I say that's the only thing coming up on your ass. Pause. Nah, there ain't nah, no nah, 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 nope, nope, nope. They be out here whipping the Rams. They be like saying, Dodge Rams, they big on that. Them fucking, them Super Duty, nigga. Silverados. I seen a lot of Ford F-350s around here. Them dooleys, you know what I'm saying? Big old red shit, them big bitches. But they still Ford. They be in them motherfucking Super Duty. I'll tell you this, though. It was one of them hoes in a long shift that made me say, fuck AAA. Yeah. Hey, real shit. When you, hey, you ever gotta change the tire on a fucking 350, Nick? Hey, fuck what you talking about. 
Fuck what you talking about. Hey, nah, I'm get your weight up. Uh, hey, look, I'm calling triple A like a motherfucker. I'm calling somebody. Y'all finna have to come change the time here. This is way too fucking big. Ugly women don't count as bulls. Okay, Portia, you a, a female said that we gonna you know what I'm saying you go ahead and rock that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't riding shit, Portia. I know what time you are. I ain't riding shit. Oh, I'm that just shit. hit me. What the fuck? She said, whoa, Portia, whoa. I ain't okay. riding shit. Oh, oh, she talking about the bull ride. Oh, she talking about the highway to Texas scared the shit out of me. Now, nah, Perry, that's a lot of people, bro. The highways in Texas are crazy. Man, no, nah, bro. Nah, our shit crazy, Fuck bro. Fuck that, Compared bro. to other places, if you've if been to other you places, our shit crazy. don't bro. know how to drive, stay out the left two lanes, please. If you just like, you know what I'm saying? That trying is to true. That's get your thing. ass out the way. Stay on the right side, bro, because we drive around here, bro. Unless we got you, places to be, people to in, see. Unless you in Houston. Stay on the left side, cause they fucking. Oh god, they the exes be on the inside. Yeah, we be on the outside. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. I be confused. Not. They got swing. Cause you know, know we barely. It's rare when we see the left hand. We like, damn man, fuck for real. Like I still. <laughs> I can't even tell you, bro, this whole exit on the left. Cause I we not used to left exits around this bitch. But like, hey, here in here in our fucking city, it's already bad enough that we got motherfuckers from here who don't know how to drive. Not for real. But when we got you all you motherfuckers moving <coughs> to Texas and shit, bringing y'all crazy ass driving ways and shit not here fun. as well. Hey, that's why we getting pile ups and 18 wheelers blowing up on the fucking interstate and shit like that. Like, hey. It's, it's wild out here. It'd be a lot of California license plates. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I don't know where they coming from, but the license uh, plate like clearly says. Say oh, Bradley say, he gonna, Bradley say he gonna send us a picture of his truck. Yeah, pull that bitch up. Yes, hey, yes. Rachel, what's up in this bitch? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the cups up. and the hashtag yes, yes up in this bitch. Hey, man. And we done only got one topic in. McDonald's adult Happy Meals got us lit and lit. off the fucking chain right now. Now, before we go through anything, do y'all got anything? Not that, not anything that's on the docket or uh, anything. I, I know you was going through some stuff. Do y'all got anything as far as uh topic wise up in this bitch real quick? Nah, but I know if McDonald's want to go nostalgia, they need to put the game cubes back in that bitch or something. That shit would go hard. Hey, and if they don't want to put game cubes, put motherfucking PS5s in that bitch or something. Rachel, thanks for the like and the share. Pro up. You know what I'm saying? Put the put the motherfucking uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no, actually, bro, I was not even meaning to add you that, bro, no lie. Put, like, a PlayStation 5 inside of the motherfucker or an Xbox. No, like, put, if, if they're not going to put a GameCube, put a new gen inside of the McDonald's or something, or even any store. Like, they oh, should do God. that shit Can I say something, though? They should do that shit. I know they're going to try to steal them, bro. Nah, nigga, if you, go, if you bring in PlayStation or Xbox in that bitch, you going to need to get Shadow Secure. Somebody, nigga, somebody. Oh, got somebody to stand there. Oh, God. You better look no, next. Lock, no, lock add an no. extra, add an extra forty. No, lock them, add an no, no, extra lock forty them, to your no, payroll. Lock them bitches up how they did back in the day. That ain't gonna work now. These niggas too, these niggas too smart. Nigga, uh, that bitch in the middle of the store, and you got that motherfucker with the big ass fucking rig. Nigga, nigga gonna bust that hole. The only like, thing you can no. really, the only thing you can touch is the control. <laughs> you think they gonna bust that bitch? They gonna break in in the middle of the night to get that hole. Bro, I, I, you remember, you remember the bazaar over there, Bruton and Masters. How yeah. often? I'm just saying. How, how many times? You remember how that Dollar Tree or that Dollar or whatever, the Dollar General, so whatever you, like that, yeah. always had motherfucking but, wood on the window because somebody they, backing into that bitch popping that they, up. Were they taking the game cubes and shit back then, back in the day, as much? Nah, but it was like it was just like the ice cream machines though, in some places always broke. Nah, okay, I got you. And that's the thing; it ain't even just about saying like, "Hey, y'all gonna take care of this shit." Little so badass you. niggas po Porsche, coming I'm up in you. here, and shit. Porsche, I'm with you. They need to bring back the Tamagotchi shit. You know what? The, I'm with that shit, especially when you could. And then when they got and we like ain't talking about just green and black screens either. Now. Nah, nah, nah hey. nigga, you got all the different Tamagotchis. You can put them all together, nigga. Smart screen that bitch. Nigga, our, 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 our shit can play together and shit now. So y'all remember the Pokemon cards from Burger King? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. When the Pokemon movie came out. Nah, Burger King, man, they had the watches. I used to like when they come out with the fucking watch. The Burger King, that nigga, I had with a With the Burger King kids. Burger King kids, nigga, Burger Burger King King kids let's go. Oh, uh, Burger, oh, nigga, the fucking Rockets and shit. Yeah, oh, that shit. Uh, the this motherfucker said, bro, I'll tell you, skateboard, you had skateboards, you had a bike. One with roller you had rollerblades. I ain't hey, say, nah, them hoes were lit. Yeah, and then, nah, I had a fucking Burger King watch. That had, it was the Simpsons. That nigga, every time you hit the button, that nigga say, Mmm, burgers. Nigga, Come that up. shit was hard. They had a Ben 10. That's back when they had the flip watches, nigga. It was digital, but you could flip that bitch to one side and it looked like this. And you flip that bitch over again. Nigga, oh, y'all bring it back by your So childhood. there's a Tamagotchi app on phones now? Yeah. Nah, I'm that's pretty, lit. I wouldn't doubt it. They did that, little, that PAL thing, too, where you just had like a little online pet to take care of, too. Let's see. Alexa says. 
Hold on, let me see. Someone this. gonna get their ass kicked, gonna get their butt will be him breaking neck. God damn. All man. right, so don't. Okay, so okay, so two K and Madden's off the table. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, okay, so two K, yeah, two K and Madden's on the off the table. You, then, you know, know what? we have cars and shit. You remember they used to have those type of games. <laughs> you know what? I put I put it to you like this. Just because I am gonna want to be entertained. <coughs> Smash Bros. That how hard. That would be crazy. Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Mario Kart and they shit got like that. And they got multiverses out now too, so they wouldn't even need. You can run that. They could just put that bitch on there. You can, speaking yeah. of multiverses, let's go ahead and talk about it because they've been voting on this motherfucking poll. That's a say goo. <laughs> yes sir. Yes sir. All right, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and talk about it. So I'm pretty sure y'all been seeing or done heard about lesbian Velma, uh, or them finally confirming that Velma is Man. a lesbian. And it's got some it's got some people upset. It's got some people like hell yeah. It's got some people like we knew that shit already. Um I want y'all to let us know if you haven't voted on the poll yet to let us know if y'all with it, if y'all are not. I'm gonna go look at the results. While I'm going and looking at the results, y'all go ahead and get y'all feedback on that. Dude, she gotta be gay or she bi. Cause Velma Loki is always. <laughs> he talk, he say, is there a door for me to hit that still? Oh, That's God. all this thing is going on. Like, I like, jump in with you and your girl. I ain't tripping. Oh. Matt Lupton, I agree, bro. Pull the fuck, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Velma, oh God. Hold on, before I get before I get to this, oh, we gotta do God. my man Matt. Justice. Shout out to my man Stubborn Beer Gaming. Matt up in here with a like and the share. Portia coming through, dropping that damn thing as well. Yo, shout out to my man Matt. He coming through supporting all of our shit. Oh, my man is a streamer too, and he is another streamer who is still supporting what the fuck we do over here in full. Props to you, man. Cups up, all that shit. Much love, bro. Hey, shout out to my boy Quincy. He said, yup, she by. Okay, for sure that then, you know what I'm saying? Because I know it's still wrong for a nigga slide up in there. We good, then. Man, that's like us niggas. Like nah, nah, Quincy pulling the classic when niggas walking around saying they a lesbian, too. That, yeah. We're speaking, because, bro. I'm oh glad you a lesbian. I'm a lesbian, too. For the longest, we've been too. like, bro, Velma bad than a bitch. You uh, know what I'm saying? I like bad. what Ray, Ray just said. I really Maddie. think adults make a bigger deal of the sexuality thing than kids Say. do, and that makes the kids Say. pay more attention to it. Say. I That's agree. Because we never gave a fuck back in the day whether they told us somebody was gay or shit. Let me Nigga, we was like, oh, okay, cool. Back to the action, bitch. Don't make it fuck. But let me tell you this. Uh, Not our generation. Motherfuckers was super, like, COVID one, that shit. Fun fact. James Gunn wanted to make her gay in the fucking God. movie back in the day. The live action movie. Oh, yeah. Too. But the uh, studio in them had uh, completely tore, uh, took it all out. Uh, two, honestly, it's kind of she already gave vibes anyway. And so I got like, the results, yep. She already gave the vibes like that anyway. So it's like that's how you kind of do representation. You don't have to show them kissing or in a relationship. But it's like you just kind of give the personality traits. You know what I'm saying? Just like, okay, first off, uh, I'm with you on that, by the way. Uh, that poll is at a whopping 12 to 2. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. If yeah, you, the, the two who said no, though, I do want y'all to poll up in the comments and let us know what your reasons were. I do. They are sippers. Don't jump on them, start bashing, trying to argue all that other shit like that. Let them get their opinion or whatever like that. Quizzy. We're going to talk about it, and then we'll go. Quizzy, I got an answer for you. You said, Velma gave up the milk and cookies to Shaggy. Why you think she sits in the back? No, she sits in the back because Daphne up there giving... Fred, Gaga, 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 and so God. she don't want to be all awkward and sit there. She a real nigga, and she ain't go cock block. So she no, back there with the stoners getting high. You know that one girl. You know that one female friend. She always smoking. The geeky with one who but, but, but be cheap because hey, always cheap with Speaking of, man, it's always been implied that Velma was a lesbian, just like it's always been implied that, that Shaggy was a stoner exactly. and Scooby was his fucking high yeah. ass. You know what I'm saying, running all mate. Right. That's just been implied. I'm taking Velma's glasses and I'm letting my hair down. She ain't gonna know what's happening. Ha, <laughs> 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 she gonna be <laughs> Bro, Matter of fact, how many times did we make the fucking joke, man? SpongeBob and Patrick on some such shit. Go to all the time. Bro, that shit was super implied. I don't give a damn. My niggas is real SpongeBob and Patrick. Both they, they real something. Something. <laughs> but like, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people are upset about, or I ain't gonna say a lot, but some people are upset about it. Like, Damn, man, here they go with this agenda shit again. But this is one of those ratings where it's been like that from the job. Or it's one of them. There's been a lot of ratings. Like, shut the fuck up. You're not even watching Scooby-Doo. That's one thing I do not, I, I don't, like, really care for. 
Nigga, if you're not watching it right now, shut the fuck up. Or even a fan. Motherfuckers just see the headline, hear the headline, and want to jump in and get a fucking about, opinion. Oh, my kids don't need to see that. Nigga, you don't even... Have you even asked your kids what do they retain from when the fucking show? Or when's the last time they even fucking seen Scooby-Doo, if they've seen any at I all? Pro- I promise you, if you ask them what's your favorite part of the show, it's not going to be, oh, well, Val would have a girlfriend. I promise you that's not going to be their favorite part of the show. So su- suck it up, buttercup, and keep For it real. fucking pushing. And Quincy, to what you say about Nickelodeon, yeah, they did that after the fact because, I mean, why not? We've been making jokes about it for the longest <laughs> anyway. We've been thinking the shit. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Friends swing, friends swing a bunch of ways, I bet. Definitely I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if the sister from Rocket Power, you know what I'm saying, was. The the young chick from the Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, if she was they, one. I mean, they Queen could, Latifah. They could play it that Come way. Come on now. I don't, I don't like the tomboy. Being, you know what I'm saying? I don't like I don't like those type of just because they like tomboyish, they automatically gotta be gay. But that's why it's like it's not important. Just let the what's call it. If Where the, the relationship, at? if that's what, but if the, those type of things, I get it. But that's what I'm saying. But if the relationship don't impact the story, who gives a fuck? Leave it up to the interpretation. Because like you said, the chick, the the sister from Market Power. If we never see a boyfriend or a girlfriend to the people that are gay. They like, oh shit, she represents me to the people that's just tomboyish. We just like, hey, oh, she rocking shit. with, she just rocking with us dudes, just getting them saying, just rocking with regardless. us. Regardless, so it's like, it like Gwen, to... like Gwen Stefani, Gwen Stefani, you know what I'm saying? Like back, Gwen Stefani, Mary J. Blige, them used to dress very tomboyish, but we sit maybe like, man, you know what? It just is what it is. But again, I think it's just one of those things. Whether it's the area thing or whatever, <laughs> motherfuckers just see the headline and they jump in, and we so quick to talk shit now. <laughs> Uh, I'm a real nigga. <laughs> Save this life. Y'all seen that game some water? Uh, the way you went through my throat. Oh, that's a tear. Oh, that's a tear. No weed with the my The green power puff girl. Nah, she's just gangster. That's different. Right. Y'all don't know about her. She's just gangster. She's the type of girlfriend to beat your ass that's in front it. of your family. <laughs> you don't even know. I ain't like, gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I did kind of assume that buttercup was, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about it. See, nah, the motherfuckers was no, five. I ain't, I ain't even think. They were like, yeah, oh God, they were little. I ain't thinking little. about what the fuck they trying to fuck, because they five. They in preschool and Oh shit. God, they whooping Mojo Jojo ass. Like, oh, I'm, trying to keep, I'm trying to see the And they going to whoop your ass, too. I'm right. trying to whoop the, the devil the devil woman. That ain't what we saying, Hold bro. on, what's them trailer park people? I get what fighting? you saying, but I'm saying, like Rachel said. Code name, Kid Next Door. Only, okay, now they had a couple only games. Only adults there. think about that shit, because we have think, sexual. Hold on, hold on, I think, hold on. Well, that's true and not true. I but think we ain't give because there are too many times where we don't be giving kids enough credit no, on no, shit no, like this, these no, motherfuckers ain't saying. smart. Because I talked to my youngest, but, but this is what I'm saying. <laughs> don't do like, that. What, like what Rachel, because what she said is we put too much credit in it in turn makes the kids care, right? Because we be talking about it and they hear us, like you said, because we don't give kids enough credit. Like they don't hear us talk about that shit when we in the rooms and shit. Yeah. So they hear us talk about it, which makes them care. But... Like I said, go back to when we was kids. We oh, didn't even that. realize until we got older that the devil man woman thingy with mobber and the fucking Powerpuff Girls was what it was. Just confused. Exactly. We was looking at that bitch. Fuck it. That's a bad guy right now. It's not really. You know what I'm saying? We don't know why, but it's it's really a misunderstood. You know what I'm saying? They had storylines that didn't really partake to the identity. Just storylines. We so innocent. We not looking at. Whether Buttercup or what's called is gay or none of that shit, it don't matter to us. But now as we get older and we're more sexually oriented, we're like, oh shit. Well, she's giving off a personality as if she, you know what I'm saying, blase, blase. But before we even realize what that is. I can speak for, I, can, I see what you say as far as everybody else. Me at that age, so I, I gotta be real though. Not me. I was a fucking horn dog. You gotta remember, Attitude Era was going on at the time, so I was seeing sable titties every week. I was seeing. Nigga, fucking, you was looking at Buttercup as goth, not gay. I know that much. I know that much, nigga. You was being like, oh, Johnny Butter- Bravo. I'm looking at how they drawing the bad bitches, Jessica Rabbit and shit. You know what I'm saying, like, bro. I certain <laughs> day, like, when, bro, homie, part of I'm be like, bro, this motherfucker will have female clothes and got a bit. I was just my whole deal with him was kind of like with Prince back in the day, like, which way is this motherfucker rolling? You know what I'm saying? Hey, Prince got the old. Da, da, da. Yeah. Nah, but then once I got yeah. older, though, you can't, can't no. Not even have. Prince Rachel. did that shit on purpose because oh, that publicity man. right there to have motherfuckers talking the thing is, is going to work, every, and it worked. Everything I'd has sexual damn. innuendos, but I, it's not for kids. Kids can't pick it up. Kids aren't smart enough to pick it up. Once they are smart enough to pick it up, they're past the age range 
where that's supposed to be hidden for them. They're supposed to get it once they start getting it. It's meant for us. When you have to babysit, whoever the fuck says babysit their own kids. But when you're watching your kids and you're watching the show for them, those jokes and innuendos are for you. They're meant to be like that. So people are like, oh, shows are too motherfucking t-. Bitch, they always been like that. You just recognize that shit now because you were an adult, which you were uh, supposed to fucking recognize that because it's supposed to be okay. meant for you. Okay, it's no. not meant for them. They're not picking that shit up. It's not going to cause them to be gay. People that were gay as they were younger, well, gay, but, nigga. Okay, now, but hold, but hold on. I will say this, though. When you talk with, because we also talk about this as far as letting kids be kids, you know what I'm saying, and not doing certain shit. So at what point, why even have to Why even have to throw that in there to the kids to begin with? I do, I do agree that they shouldn't be. That's why I don't like they when they announce it. They shouldn't be announcing us and giving it. Oh, yeah. Make Sponge kids shows the kids now. shows. You ain't got to make something just because we the adults sitting there watching no, everything. No, it's not for them. To, but they, to appeal to us. That's it, just for the kids, It is though. a kids show. Majority of the show is based for the kids shit. Now, we are just picking up the shit that's meant for us because it's meant for us. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no way back in the day we should have had Johnny Bravo, bro. Nigga, how many? Did you know what the fuck? Rin, nigga, do you did you yes. understand what Rennie Stimpy was? Yes, early though. Early, yes, early, bro. Nigga. That bro, that that bro, nah, bro. There was bro. Number one, the, this is what threw me off at Rennie Stimpy. The same thing with Bert and Ernie, bro. Did you already As know t- what sex was? Yes, I got. That don't count it because if you already know what sex is, yo, yo, innocence is broken. So now when you see in your windows, most kids don't see what sex is until later on. So when you five and six and you never seen what sex is and you seeing them in your windows, you just like, oh shit, he's rubbing the motherfucking saw against his back. He's, he's scratching his back. That's why he's screaming like that. Until you know what sex is and you see that position is doggy style, you're like, oh shit, what the fuck? Nah, there's some things, bro, that just trigger like, man, hey, something about that just it, ain't No, 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 it's going to be like, in your head. You're going to be like, why is this awkward to me? You are, they, they, I do give, I do give you that, but it's like unless your innocence is broken and you know what sex is, when you see those innuendos, you're not assuming that because your mind doesn't go there. You see what I'm saying? Like with the we were talking about the other day, Kim Car- when they, there's a clip of uh, Kanye with his daughter, <laughs> him Kim K and his daughter walking around, and his daughter says, "Look, I got a stick," and Kanye says, "Is it a magic stick?" And Kim says, "No, don't say that." He says, "Why?" Like, nigga, a magic stick is a fucking wand. The fuck do you mean you can't oh, no, say a magic I was little, stick? I would have thought a magic Why stick can't I say a magic stick, like, stick to my fucking daughter? Magic. It's a fucking wand. The stick is magic, bitch. What do you mean that's a dildo? Nobody told them to name that shit that anyway. And just because they decided to name that shit on some expensive doesn't mean that changes the fucking language. Oh, you, you see what I'm saying? And so point. it's like until your, your mind understands what the shit is. But I think, get it. but that, I feel like that applied to like us, but I feel like where we at now though, that's a lot less true, bro. Like, cause a lot, like, nah, a lot that, of, that's what now, now, yeah, now it's a lot more blatant. Just, it's not even subconscious no more. It's like blatant. They tell you straight up they, because like, they get it? because I tell you once shows once your kids start watching shows where they <laughs> dealing with boyfriend girlfriend or boys liking boys and shit like that, those wheels starts already going. That hamster that mm-hmm. already got on that wheel, you yeah, know what no, I'm saying? I agree with that. That's I why. Agree. That's why I say like the story. The relationships shouldn't have to be there. Friend, friendships, based it all around friendships and shit. But you shouldn't have to put the relationships in there. You oh. can move it. To, you right. Uh, the chat been done. Riyado, like, Riyado's modern life or Rocco's modern life. Yeah. I mean, just the name Heifer alone. Heifer. You know what I'm saying? I love it. That was there. That means a baby cow. Which my granny crazy. called all of my cousins, female cousins, heifers. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, just yeah, yeah. That and then that was the way. That, if you had a female in your house or was just around females at some point in time growing up, you saw a female call another female a heifer. A heifer. Heifer? Boy, that was that was common in my family. It's just like that. Some people said, actually, I could call somebody right now who still use the term. Yeah. You know hey, what I'm saying? Nah, look, Quizzy, that is fucking classic. When that girl come over there and she says, she was like, oh, we were made as an accident. She says, don't worry, professor. I have an accident, too. And that nigga just stares at her like, like, bro, that shit's fucking hilarious, bro. Like, you can't, don't take that out of the TV, because when I'm watching shit with my kids, you better not have the straight kid shit in that bitch. I want to I want to crack my ass up, because you just said your ass is an accident. That little baby ain't going to know what the fuck you meant, but I will, bitch. <laughs> you <laughs> that's over with the quagmire. He's like, pulling the rope out. The 
kids the don't kids, know what I'm talking about. Bro, you need to. Oh God, bro, bro. No, make no. If you and bro, it, it has, has to be if, really if, good though. If yeah. it's if it's sneaky, I have no problem with the. Uh, I have no problem with innuendos. Don't be, don't be. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm with you. Then. But like, bro, like now they just so fucking just. I honestly don't abrasive. think it's the things on TV that gets kids wondering. That's another thing. People are very. People think it's the media. We can all just test today. Everything is everything. Hold on, I disagree. Everything is media. So even though people will say things on TV. You got to think where we at now in 2022, the language done kind of changed. It does impact. Like, yeah, I it, we, yeah. When we say that, we're talking, we talking just Cell TikToks, phone, yeah. CSI, all of that shit, which is why, you know what I'm saying? Me, when my kids was growing up and shit like that, a tablet or something like that, we had app locks. We had fucking oh God, all kinds of shit on. Move around on some shit if you want to. Otherwise, I'm right there. You know what I'm saying? To monitor that shit. And a lot of parents now... Because they so big, they so so many parents want to just sit their kid down, shut them up, so they can go and do their damn thing that they don't really think about. You know what I'm saying? What they they just looking for the quick, easy fix to shut their kids up. You know what I mean? Instead of really paying attention and monitoring that shit. Let's not forget in Dexter that lady her da- had dad's trophy on her ass. I mean, look, that was that was for us. That was done for us in spirit. And un- I mean, was that even real? Is that a real scene? Or is that edited? Because, you know, niggas be edited real. I can't, honestly, I can't remember right now. I can't front with you. We had phone in the kitchen. On the line in that bitch. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, bro. But I, but nah, but again, uh, but I mean, honestly, though, like, damn, we, were, we went from. Nah, yeah, we good. Yeah, we, we good. We, we, yeah, we nah, hit that, that shit, bitch. We yeah. unpacked that bitch. For <laughs> oh, real. God. And repacked it. You know what I'm saying? I wish I was on here. I would debate this. Nah, Bradley. We got to figure it out, man. Got to gotta give us, got to give us, con- you know what I'm saying? We got no, the thing is, not, he be ready. We just got to figure out because, with uh, again, with us sitting right here. How we would do it. Yeah, because wise. we would have to, the thing is, is we would have to hear you. You know what I'm saying? But oh, we man, also, what we also don't want for us to hear, also to get picked up on the, on the microphone as well. What you get? Lighter. Boom, that'll work. There you go. But, uh, yeah, bro, nah, we definitely got you, man. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Um, so, we're gonna go ahead and pull up on the next topic then, since I said that shit so many motherfucking times. Y'all should be used to it by now. Instagram ruins society. No. Okay. How you no. figure? No. I was high. <laughs> and I was looking at something. <laughs> okay. It came back to me, Zippers. I remember. So, remember you, and you old enough too, remember. When social media first came out, AKA, and you can go before this shit, but like Facebooks, and then you got the MySpaces, mm-hmm. and then you got the Moco Spaces. Mm-hmm. Everybody was on Black People Meet so, so and bad. shit like that. So nah, so I'm saying AOL even, chat rooms. Different yeah. things like that. I'm saying chat rooms were super big in the 90s. They called uh, different friends. That was a term for people that you had online uh, associates and shit. It yes. Was, it was friends and probably something else and whatever they would chat name may have been you get to instagram and twitter when that shit comes around they change it from friends to followers you see what i'm saying and just that simple name change with that thing even though it's the exact same thing meant a lot oh yeah because yeah they get Words and shit mean a whole lot more than people think. And the way now people look at the people that they add on online and shit, they're no longer friends. Like, shit, we can speak of it to, like, games. Nigga, Xbox have been fr- friend, no, your friends forever. Nigga, we meet a random motherfucking Halo lobby that we fuck with. Friend his ass. Now we got a fucking friend across the motherfucking country. We really never even gonna meet oh, God, in person you, type you shit. fuck with that nigga daily. Heavy in the motherfucker, right? And so, and y'all, ain't, y'all ain't never met none of y'all Xbox friends who y'all met online, but then came across not, ass. Yeah, not in person yet. I done done that. That shit happened when I went to Cali. That shit was wild. I mean, the ones I met through Xbox because my like they my partner friends and they in KC. So yeah. when they come down and I meet them like that, so I have met them. Like, I'm talking about like you met them on Xbox. Like no, that, yeah, my initial meet it's through a few them. Of them. I wanted to. My initial meet through them was 
he was on Xbox with my partner from down here. Yeah. And we met on there. We were like, oh shit, what's up? Then we got to, we got kind of cool. We played a couple games by ourselves and shit. Then they yeah. come down here. Now we meet in person. Shit, I done that. Oh, but okay. I ain't never met nah, but that was, but right. you met him through somebody though. Okay, so now I would count that. Yeah. I would count. I would count that. I was like fourteen, bro. Probably like thirteen. When, Zombie, when Black Ops One first came out, bro, I was a young nigga, bro. I was playing zombies daily, fam. I met this nigga who was like twenty four, fam. That nigga, me and that nigga play zombies daily together, fam. That nigga was cold in the bitch, bro. This nigga be like, shit, I just got off of work, bro. This girl be in there cooking for him and shit. She be like, yeah, nigga, you trying to hop on the game? I be like, yeah, we up. Yahoo chat. Hey, look, look. I used to text. I used to I'm text people. Facebook and everything. I used to text people before oh, I had a phone. I used to be on Yahoo chat texting <laughs> people because I could text. You could, you, could, and shit. you could put niggas number into Yahoo chat and you could text them from that bitch. And so before I had a phone, that's how I used to text motherfuckers. Oh, that shit was crazy. But the way it fucked everything up, like I said, it went from followers. friends to followers. Yeah. So like through Xbox, we could meet. We fucking cool shit. You met your girl through goddamn Xbox type shit. So it's like we can, True story. We can instantly make real friends when it's because that's what it's called. And so now we get so distant from our followers now thanks to Instagram and fucking what's called it. And even fucking Facebook done adapted the followers mm-hmm. method on their shit too. To where now we think of it as everybody's a fucking celebrity and shit. So yep. being on social media makes you a celebrity just because you have followers. And you're not looking at them as friends and shit, and it makes it so weird. And that's why, and that's why people, and that's why people got that entitled mindset where every, where everybody, where like everybody think they the shit. You know what I'm saying? Where uh-huh. you even got ugly motherfuckers thinking they just the baddest motherfuckers ever because somebody yeah, you, gonna you, give you some hard eyes on that. You bitch. still got you because you. Then Facebook really blurred the line like a motherfucker because you still got your friends list, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you, there's still that follow following and all that shit right there so it's real easy for people to get ahead of themselves like damn i got a thousand now i got two thousand now yeah. i got oh shit i'm the shit uh so you know what i'm saying like in real really, life you just a normal you just a regular motherfucker, motherfucker like now like, Brady. nobody give a fuck about Michael your comment Brady. on motherfucking ign or Comicbook.com and look, or some shit like I that. I ain't saying this shit because we do this shit. I promise you, I fuck with the ones that fuck with us. We hey. do this shit because the shit cool and we oh, record whoa, whoa. shit for the fuck of it. It's not because we y'all in here fucking like, oh, he feel like he got some so he can get. Damn, I'm here now. I ain't shit either, goddammit. I know I ain't shit. Oh, that hurts. Pull up, Grady, with the like and the share. And it's like, everybody want to be famous, not knowing. I say this with every fucking thing. If everybody's something, then nobody ends up being it. Because, nigga, now... Now you all on the same level. Because everybody's the same now. Look. So it's like, we all fucking fans, and we all got followers and shit. Who's the difference right. between what? Nigga, now we literally got A, B, C, D, F <laughs> list. Nigga, you a D12. You a D12 list celebrity, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I was... Nigga, okay, you know, we, we know people that got like 10K, 15K followers on Instagram, bro. I, I had almost 3K before I got hacked. <laughs> I probably followed like 700 I people back. Fuck with you know what I'm with saying? Four and above. Oh yeah. god, yeah. I had like I had like 3k, 3.5k, but check it, bro. I didn't follow like 2,000, 3,000. Like I didn't follow a lot of them people back, but they would hit me, bro. They would join my live. They fuck with me. Like you know, I sell all my phones and shit online. So, bro, I'd post a phone, bro. I'd have 15 people trying to buy it in like 10 minutes, bro. Now that I only got like 300 followers on Instagram, that shit be dead. I'm talking about, bro, I'll post a phone on there. Niggas, broke niggas hit me up talking about some, what you trying to do? Niggas, <laughs> y'all niggas ain't got no money for me. Hell yeah, no. Like, what, what it looking like? Nigga, you see it. The fuck you, you mean? What it looking like? I got, I got a price posted with it, nigga. What you trying to offer me? Real shit, you nigga said, I give, you, I give you 400 in a, in a, nah, in a silver Porsche. Nah, bro. No, nigga. Porsche, I'm with that. Fuck that. I'm trying to get paid. I agree. Because at the end of the day, that's what really social media is for. It's not... It's not to build friends and get connections like it used to be. Right, it's to, to build businesses and, and get connections. The connections you build now is more to sell shit. Like, everybody on here is to sell shit and laugh. That's what I say. If you're on social media, it's to sell something or laugh your fucking ass off. If you're on social media being serious, you're using it for the wrong fucking reason. For the wrong shit. Because, what the fuck? We giggles and shits around here, goddammit. Ask my boy. We used to promote them parties back in the day. We used to be lit. <laughs> social media, we had flyers and all that. We was lit every Friday and Saturday. That shit's funny. I could pull That's up a, a few old flyers. Let's see, I don't the one followers. I would rather know the name. I do agree. That's why it's going to be hard as we grow as a fucking community <coughs> over here because 
Shit, it's already hard to remember you motherfuckers now because I'm terrible with names. I'd be like, damn, are you a new simple? They'd be like, nah, nigga, I've been here. I'd be like, I'm sorry, Kimbo. Yeah, I'm about to say, y'all, you? that's him. I know all y'all. Yeah, because he got a big ass head. He can remember. Yeah. I, be, I, can't, I can't really do that Bigger shit. Bigger Bob. Yeah. <laughs> be stoned, bro. Shit. Nah, but I'm learning, though, the ones that do be in here when we conversating. I fuck with y'all, so it's like, as we get bigger, it's gonna be hard. <coughs> we gotta stay. We gotta stay solid. Yep. And we, and y'all gotta realize, like these platforms and stuff that we love, we did this shit to ourselves. Bradley, you not That's fucking new. <laughs> we did, we did, we did this shit. We did this shit to ourselves because, like you said, like motherfuckers get, motherfuckers feel entitled now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Everybody feel entitled and everybody feel like they somebody. That's why I personally, bro, like and a lot of people be like, it's not that I don't want people getting into rapping or getting into streaming and stuff like that. My whole deal is, is just. Is that really your passion and is you good at it? Because there's too many motherfuckers who just be in the way thinking that shit just be easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let me go do this and shit like that, trying to uh, get quick fame or some shit like that and just do it shit for the wrong reasons. And it's like, nah, you want the fame, but do you realize the hard work that yeah. really takes to get behind that shit? Even if it's some corny ass rapper or an Instagram or somebody that you don't fucking like. There's still fucking work. Yeah, you got your quick come ups and shit like that, but it's still a lot of fucking work I'm, in that shit. I'm surprised. Because <clears throat> while we all on MySpace, we all remember the prime MySpace days, bro. Big facts. And I think. Music videos, all I'm so surprised the motherfucking Facebook is nobody has taken their fucking out, like way that they went ran shit. Cause I don't know what made MySpace break down, but I know for a fact it wasn't their interface. No, the bill, what happened is, is MySpace was built, MySpace was started social and then it got built off the music industry. And then you had everywhere else like Twitter and all these other different streaming services who just took people's attention elsewhere but for, see, a one, for a one stop but shop. Check it, but check it, that's what I'm saying. These other social media platforms to then involve this shit by, nigga, if I, you click late, on my bro. page, and the like Nigga. instantly you should hear my favorite song. That just that alone will make everybody's shit be, be better because I wanna check everybody's fucking post, every motherfucking like I wanna check somebody's page. If I fuck with you, I wanna check your page every week to see what you've been listening to. Like you know what I'm saying? Like what's your favorite song of the week? Like what you update your song for right now, you see what I'm saying? And as an artist, this that shit easy because every time you come to my page, you got the latest song that I just dropped. Hold on, on Rachel day. say Y'all probably still got y'all MySpace page. Hold on. Portia with that 1,262 days. Up in here with that. Hold on. I don't even remember my MySpace. Yeah, Tom said you got me fucked up. I'm your friend, Quincy. Oh, God, Tom, bro. I tried to delete that nigga like three times, fam. Tom said, man, I am Tom your friend, said, Quincy. Tom said, nice. He like, like man, y'all can roast me, talk about me all y'all want. I am paid. He said, I'm here. Set bitch. for life. Oh God! But shit, you not finna delete me off your motherfucking friends list either. <laughs> bro, why? Shit. Why I don't want that nigga to be my first friend, bro? Man, why you ain't? Why you ain't in my top ten no more? Mm-hmm. Portia, what you mean it changed? I need an update. But that's what I'm saying. That's the main thing. Like, and then the top friends, Snapchat kind of does that with your best friends and shit. You can do that. But if you uh, nigga, just the like I said, as an artist, nigga, you click on my page. And you want an update on your favorite artist? If I just drop something because it's Apple Music and Spotify be bullshitting, just putting you on the fucking front page and shit when you drop, come to my page, nigga, the newest song. Streaming already. You get a taste of that bitch without even having to fucking click on that. You just listening. Okay. Taste oh, shit. Let me go click on this bitch and see what this nigga got. You know what I'm saying? Or, and if you're not anything like that shit, MySpace needs to be integrated somewhere. And when we make a fucking website, it's exactly what the fuck's gonna happen. <laughs> nigga, as soon as you click on that bitch, nigga, you gonna hear some music. You can mute that bitch. Y'all did that one chip channel and what? What the fuck he say? Y'all did that one chip channel, y'all should do who can finish a whole bottle of Mad Dog 2020. If it's Jubilee Orange, it's gonna What's be What's up with homie and this Mad Dog 2020? Me. That is like the second or third Mad it's MD me. 2020. Bro, what? Kind of thing that I done say, man. Say if you get, hey, let me eat, let me yeah, eat hey, first. Bro, you bring it let up. Let me eat first. I tell you, hey, I put school. the, I throw them hoes down. Even know, fam. Even throw shit, them hoes down. College two, nigga. Before I hit two, nigga. Man, before, I, before I even hit twenty one, I used to just go to my cone store from the fucking. He talking uh, about some. I used, hey, Jubilee Orange, my nigga. He said, "What's up, my friend? You need anything? I just got some new woods. He got, he can get my guards and shit, whatever I needed to give me that shit. Out of that bitch, the Mad Dog was my shit in college." Yeah, him in college, but nah, we was, man, high eighth, school, eighth grade and ninth grade, tenth grade, boy, we was lit. Story time. Lit. We'll have a little story time. Flash the lights for him. I got a story I did, time. I did, I did, I did. Y'all motherfuckers, 
Four locos and shit like that. Nah, no, no, man. I got a story no. Time, man. We got it. Come on, let's, I got let's, a story let's, time. Let's, right up. Up. If y'all got mad dog stories, pull them up in the comments. Pull up. I got a story time and I got Tony Green because it's just why. Go so ahead. look, me and G, me and my brother, oh my God, we in motherfucking, we in motherfucking eighth, ninth grade, ninth grade, ninth, ninth grade. We both on probation, as we both on probation. So we go to the store because we need something to do. We just chilling. We go to the motherfucking cold store, get us something. We ask the OG to buy us some uh, fucking Mad Dogs, right? Yeah, I know. He said, hey, go buy us some MDs. He's like, all right, bet. Which ones? We say the green ones. He say, he say, all right, bet. So he go in. We thinking the green was going to be green apple or some shit or like, you know what I'm saying, limon, lime or some shit like that. Some type, something to that effect. Kiwi, some extra shit, right? Nigga come back out, we get that bitch. We don't even read it, none of that shit. We, Cause you know how they had them holding the bag. Take that bitch back to the crib. We and this bitch playing GTA 5. This when GTA 5 first like came out. It was only out for about like a couple months, nigga. We playing GTA 5. Oh. In this bitch. Sipping that shit. He like, hey bro, hand me that hoe. Pop that bitch open. Pop that bitch open. Take a hit of that bitch. I say, pip, 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 pip. <laughs> what that nigga say? Why is it spicy? Hold on, the fucking Rihanna Nelson with the thousand star. Look, look, I take a spice. Oh! A... Uh, Rihanna pulling up a thousand. Oh. Send you things to the end if they try to want to see challenges. Yeah. Uh, we do need to get a P.O. box. You are right. Uh, so. I take a sip of the Good motherfucking idea. MD. Write that down. He say, he say, pop that MD open. I say, bet. So I pop the MD open. I, uh, take a swig. Drink that bitch up. <clears throat> Why is it spicy? Hand that bitch back to him. He say, what you talking about, nigga? What you mean it's spicy? I say, bro, that that shit, that 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 that, 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 that shit not fucking green apple, fam. That shit, that that that, that sh I start lagging because that shit is not <laughs> good, fam. He say, what? He hit that bitch. He say. <clears throat> Uh, bro, what the fuck? So we take the bag, take it off the little bag and shit. And that bitch say jalapeno fucking cucumber or some shit. I forgot exactly what the MD taste is, but if you drink MDs, Quincy, you may know what I'm talking about. That bitch say jalapeno something, nigga. And we sitting here like, fam, this is not green apple. None of that shit. We're like, shit, so what we finna do? Guess what we did? Guess what we did? Drink it. Hey, yeah, we finished that bitch playing GTA 5. Drunk the motherfucker listening to some Dr. Dre or whatever the fuck they got on that bitch. That bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, no, nah, we playing it. Uh, uh, fuck, it was a YG. Bitch, you know where I'm from. Huh? Yeah. Bitch, you know where I'm from. Nah, He's just riding around that That ain't YG. That's problem, bro. That's, pro that's problem. That's he sound like YG on that bitch, that, though. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's problem, bro. That I fuss with that nigga. That nigga be spitting. Man, let me tell y'all about the Mad Dog, bro. What color was the Mad Dog? Man, we had red and blue. This is a me and you story. Okay, so he's going back to the classic. So look, bro. Me and Isaiah, yeah. we was young freshman year. We was, we was young. We was turned. We would get high as hell, smoke some grape swishers. Uh, but we smoked some fruity-ass swishers before school, right? I'm talking about right early, 8 in the morning, getting high, smoking some fruity-ass swishers. I come through with the bottles of Mad Dog, bro, and, and I have a bottle of Gatorade. We kill a bottle of Gatorade at, at, the, at the bus stop, bro. We pouring the Mad Dog in the Gatorade bottles. I'm talking about, bro, we on the bus, lit. You know what I'm saying? We turned up like it's a club. We got bottle girls, you know what I'm saying? All that. Gatorade bottles full of that shit. So, bro, I'm talking about our first period was athletics. <laughs> Our first period was fucking athletics. We had football to suit basically, up, basically. football gear, helmets, pads, all that. So me and Isaiah, we sitting there drinking and shit. We got practice first thing. Fucked up. We high drunk. drunk. <laughs> we get to sweating. All you smell is Mad Dog and grape swishes, dog. I'm like, bro, do you smell that? He oh said, God, yeah, you, you, you said that shit. I said, damn, I think that's uh, so. Oh God, nigga, I'm, I'm feeling this shit come out my pores. I'm high. I'm, Bro, I'm getting it throwing up, bro. We was out there. I, I know I threw a few times off the of Mad Dog in practice, but we was out of there. I'm talking about, bro, that, that was wild. We used to, we did that shit for like two years straight. Ha! <laughs> there was a senior. I forgot what his name was. It was a white boy. He was gangster with it, though. He'd come in with a whole two liter full of Jack Daniels. Mike, leave me alone. I'm talking about his foghorn, leghorn. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said. <laughs> 
Uh, I like Blackberry Merlot and the Arbor Mist. Blackberry Merlot is not bad. I fuck with that. Blackberry Arbor Mist. The hell he said. Same eyes special brew was my shit. Oh, we gonna, so who said who dropped the same odds? Oh, I should have known. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, just hit the cone. What was that white boy name? You know what I'm looking uh, for. You said what? What was that white boy that used to come with the two liter of Jack Daniels to school, bro? He was scared of midgets. He played baseball with us. The redhead. The, yes. the redhead. Yes. Oh, my God, bro. He got caught, bro. What? Ah, he got bro, caught. So he got red. caught. He got yeah. caught, bro. He got caught. He got he caught doing what? Vodka two liter. Red, he got vodka in a fat ass bottle, bro. A two liter of Coca-Cola just straight Jack Daniels. He was se- and he was selling Straight that shit. Jack. He, yeah, and he was selling them hoes. He was like, nigga, come Calling niggas up. Hold niggas in water bottles and sell them hoes, nigga. He got caught and got suspended from like three games for doing that shit. Because he was football player too. Like, nigga, th- th- and he was a senior our freshman year. I forgot exactly his name. Crazy ass white boy. That shit was funny as hell. He was scared of midgets. Let's break out the apple pie shine. Nah, you, nigga. <coughs> Bradley, Let's do it. Let's do it. Put the shine away. Nah, bring me more. What's happening? One eye gonna be that way. One eye gonna be that way. Put the shine away. Hey, nah, for real though. Like that. Hey, that's a. Hey. Put the you shine better, away. Do you better already have hair on your chest and make sure your nuts have already dropped before you go ahead and indulge in that shit right Porsche there, say, boy? I'm telling you. Portia say, I'll free you. my nigga redhead. Oh God, nah, redhead was lit though. He was scared of midgets. That's my favorite part of that. Uh, that's fucking wild, though. He was just trying to make some money. Nah, for real. He was selling them hoes for real. Oh, God, he was selling, <laughs> he was he selling, was selling them hoes. He was selling oh, shots. God, he was selling them hoes. You get shots in school. <laughs> hey, Sippers, we do have the uh, the prompt is open. Y'all should be seeing it. If y'all don't see it, do a refresh. But y'all drop y'all's topic requests. Anything that y'all want us to talk about, hold that shit up in the comment section. Oh, damn, we got a double whammy going on here, and we will tackle that shit. Did y'all hear that uh, 50 Cent son? What they into now? That Fuck. nigga said he is not getting enough in child support. He says, damn near $7,000 a month isn't good enough. You dissed my dad. You dissed me, bitch. He said it was you lucky se- you getting anything. $6,700 a month. He said he can't live mm-hmm. off of that. That's barely living. I said, bitch, you stupid. You, I mean, what look, type of living this nigga doing? Nah, what he did was he got spoiled on that shit. Yeah. <coughs> a month? <coughs> yeah. I do it. I wouldn't even be working. He ain't got to. Cause he getting some bands. Be he done fucked up his expenses. Is what that is. Yeah. Oh, he oh, got to some shit. So now he needs some more bread. Because now you kept Mike seven seven seven, and now your ass done ran up to about we, eight. We slightly hit that last week, but last That's week was weird. discombobulated in half a show. So. We gonna hit that bitch this week too. I I, I remember the damn. That let me be Nas's kid on my soul. Nas had to pay. Nah, $50. hey, don't pay. Don't pull. Don't pull the comments up. It don't pull your topic request in the comments. Use the prompt that's right there because shit gonna get lost in this chat, y'all. All right. If you want your topic to be requested, drop it in that box that's up there. That way, no matter what's <laughs> going on in that chat right there on the side, we'll have your shit Portia, locked in. What happened to Kelly Clarkson, Portia? Shit. I don't know what happened to her. Bro, what, what's that one song she Kelly got? Clarkson, I'll tell you why. Kelly Clarkson got a whole TV show. Oh, for real? Got a whole, like, kind of like a, like, ain't like gonna a say, sitcom show? Ain't, that, nah, nah, I ain't gonna say, like, daytime, but it's kind of like a, uh, kind of like a, like a daytime talk show. <laughs> and shit, be having, get, be having guests and shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit be hitting. Okay. Nah, Kelly Clarkson still doing her motherfucking like, thing, bro. I, I, like, that bread. I like Kelly Clarkson. Nah, she ain't went ever nowhere. Since, ever since she fucking did her shit. That's one that's of the Texas. Texas. That's one of the only ones from American Idol that's actually, like, maintained, huh? Boy, let How me have been How many people from American Idol boy. actually maintained like her? Her, uh, Daughtry made it. Okay, I know Daughtry. Okay, okay. City okay. Boy! Uh, City Boy is winning. Carrie Underwood made it. Carrie, Carrie Underwood, okay. You I even know. got a uh, homegirl, even though she lost. Uh, 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 Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson was American Idol. She started yeah, there. She was. She started American Idol, but lost instead. Oh wow! And, and is now like the most successful. Ruben Studdard, uh, successful still. Uh, why the fuck do I know this shit? Holy shit! Cause you're from Texas, y'all. Oh. 
Bro, I'm just naming them hoes. I'm just, just naming them hoes. That's just their like, pop quizzes when you don't think bro, you're going to Bro, I'm you, sitting here like, bro. You don't think you're going to pass the test, but when the test pop up in front of you, you get to just like, oh, I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this. Why the fuck do I know this shit, bro? I didn't watch American Idol like that either, though. Did I didn't really know she did. had that kind of money. Nah, bro, she, did see, you read that? She has to pay $220,000 in, in spousal support. City boys winning like a motherfucker. And I agree with Rachel because she really can't sing, bro. She had Reba hop on her song to make that hell fire. What's that? No, she Big said she can't. Can. She can't sing. Bro, she can't sing. Who, no, oh, Kelly Clarkson? Calm what? Down, calm down, bro. bro. Oh, this, is where, nah. this is where you just relax your I, 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 I mean, mean that, that's, that was young, This is man. where you relax your musical ideas and your opinions and you just leave them back there, okay? You come back when we talking trill shit. Trill <laughs> shit. <laughs> exactly. Leave, leave this up. alone. <laughs> I, I, uh, leave this <laughs> alone. <laughs> now, if you talking Britney Spears, then you know what I'm saying, then I got you. You know what I'm saying? That's the hey, she, she can't sing, sing for shit. shit. Oh, God. Britney Spears cannot for a goddamn. Shit, I'll even like just jump on the bandwagon and dunk on Beyonce for the fuck of it, even though I know it's not all the way true. But you can't say that about Kelly, though. I'm sorry. Bro, I still <laughs> get flat for my Brandy comment. Uh, wait, what was your Brandy comment? Wait, wait, uh, wait. You better not have said what I think you said. First of all, bro, I, I said... I agree with him. I said, first of all, I said, Brandy can't sing. And here's, here's, what, here's what does he her... You got me disrespecting Luca. No, nah, here's, what, here's, what, here's what does her in, bro. When she sings, she still sounds like that old... She still sounds like she used to. That ain't it. You don't, you don't like that? No. Brand. You want her to sound older? No, and then it's, it's not even just that. When she do go deep, it's like she try to go deep, and then she starts sounding like Tony Braxton. So either she sounding like Miley Cyrus or the bitch sounding like Tony Braxton. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you are not Ariana Grande. Calm that shit the fuck down. Like, bro, I'm just, go look up some footage. Go look up. Go look. I'm telling you, bro. Especially live, and you know, live is where it's at. Live is where motherfuckers get put on blast at. Fuck what the fuck how it sound on the record in your car on K104, 97.9, Spotify, Sipper, Pandora, Sipper, and shit like Sipper, that. Sipper, we are going to react to this shit soon. And I have to do it live. Y'all going to see my reaction so I can prove this nigga wrong. Because what the fuck is he talking about? Wait. This nigga said Brand Brandy cannot sing, bro. For sure. We always beef every other day anyway, so I'm going to just take it as today we beef and tomorrow we'll be cool. So fuck what you talking about too, bro. He said I agree with the Brandy thing. <laughs> Bradley, you probably put raisins in your potato salad. Damn. That's racist. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. I'm just saying. Raisins. <laughs> wow. I, I fucks with you. Hey, bro, I fucks with I fucks with you. I fucks, I fucks with you. I'm not with y'all. Nope. Uh-uh. I can't even go to his cookout, fam. That, that nigga put raisins. I'm not with y'all, fam. I'm not I'm not going to sit here with y'all. And until I get the thing, we, that nigga say, hell no. Nah. <laughs> 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 I can't even go to your cookout, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Because that's what, bro, because oh, Bradley, Bradley, you can't bring nothing to the pot. Brad, no, Bradley is, no, because Brad, Brad, whenever, pe whenever people want to talk plate, about why people don't season their food or know what the fuck they doing, he one of the motherfuckers who I know I who I know I can go to and do it. Matter of fact, him he, and Matt. He's like, emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go I'll go Bradley. I'll go hell, I'll even throw my girl in there. I'll throw uh I'll throw Matt Lupton up in there, cause that man be smoking on the motherfucking grill. Hey, if y'all ain't following him or whatever, my man be posting he be throwing down on that motherfucking grill. Um uh, yeah, nah. Say, Fuck what you talking nah, about? Some white, some white folks out but there. We gotta go, that means we just got to go do some reactions to Brandy live so we can see what's up. Brandy nah, was real. singing live on time with Jennifer Lewis. Brandy was trash. I got. I just got to see it, man. Y'all talking about Cinderella, man. Oh, I'm not talking about music. Yeah, you know, you don't talk about Cinderella. Talk about 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 All right, so we... Uh, oh, fucking Taliban. So let's get to this then. Uh, House of Dragons. Hold up. H-O-D. I'm going to let you moderate the discussion. All right, fuck. So... I gotta remember how did this bitch start. Man, that shit started. How did this start? It started out with the kids down there in the cellar with they with the dragon. Uh, okay, dragon. so last week we yeah. had the motherfucking uh she wanted to die a dragon riding of death. So she had to go to Vagar and she said, Dracaris. And he was like, I don't really wanna do it. I I I I I don't really wanna do it. But bitch you said it. But bitch, <laughs> fuck it. Uh, hoo, hoo, she had hoo. to say it like three times, bro. They had you to get that eye saying. contact and make it known like this is really happening right now. She was just like, bitch, 
It's time. And so, after the motherfucking Dragon Rider's death, everybody came to, I think they took it to Dragonstone. Not Dragonstone, they took it to Driftmark. That's the place they went. Ooh. And when they went to Driftmark, they had to go and repent for Ooh. their sins. Now, when they went Quincy, there, I ain't drinking a whole bottle of Everclear, bro. You got me fucked up. That's death. It Hold was... It, God damn, somebody answered Quincy. Quincy, what you talking Ooh. about? <laughs> did we answer it? Yeah, I just did. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what was the question? So in Driftmark, they had the funeral for the white-haired chick that flew Vagar. I think her name was Lena. And Lanar, he went crazy. He was sitting in the water like, damn, I'm sad. And then Coralus, the sea snake, was like, go get your patron. You know what I'm saying? He told yeah. Carl, dude, they went to go get him. So at this point, everyone was looking all iffy. Dude also lost his parents because they killed the, all the, the, they burnt all them niggas. You know what I'm saying? And so. Because everybody been questioning the, uh, the birth of the, and the kids like motherfuckers and so, no doubt. And so the sneaky thing that was crazy is the dude, the oldest, Rhaenyra's oldest son, he know, he kind of knows that his dad was, he had a, like a relationship with his dad. He didn't know he was his dad, but as he, when, before he died, he kind of figured it out a little bit. And so he's kind of grieving as well because he realized that he died, but he can't show it because it's not your daddy type shit. You see what I'm saying? And so he can kind of relate to old girl, the uh, the ones that just <coughs> lost their mama. But they can't really open that shit up. Fuck all that shit. They did the little shit, uh, little, little, little politicking at the funeral. Fuck all that. Skip to the little, little, little niggas. Oh, yeah, I said that's where I was let's about skip to go. To yeah, the little niggas. let's go. Let's skip to the little niggas. The little niggas had the realest shit the whole motherfucking oh, episode. No, the whole episode. They had them kids going crazy in that bitch. Eamon finally lost his eye. Yep, so we getting all the little shit that's going to carry it into it. I think, but personally, I think this episode was the beginning of the, like, the last, ep- the last couple episodes were, like, setting up the war. But this one was like the beginning of the war. Once yeah. Thomas cut his shit, they made sides. Old like girl Like literally showed. the prologue to the war. Type like shit. to the war. Old Not the girl, story, but the war. Oh, girl showed her how fucking yeah. she pulled that dagger out on her and got the what's called it. Which that thing is getting so much play. We were talking about this, but that, that dagger, every time it shows up on screen, I'm just like, yes. Because it just makes it mean so much more than what we've already seen in Game of Thrones. And that thing is about to catch a lot more bodies and get some history on it. I'm just letting you know right now that they that thing is gonna be getting wailed for a while. Bradley, we talk about Game of Thrones, House of Dragons. That is what we are talking about at the moment. And I think we're about to get another time jump. Uh, yeah, you know, slightly. Talking about how he took the dragon either. That's no. That's what I was going to. That nigga, I I can't even think of the, the second born name. Yeah, just stay with us, Bradley. Just, just 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 stay with us. Just stay with us. But the youngin, his brother, the the, the younger brother, Allison's his second son. They, they 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 made fun of that nigga. Gave him the pig the last couple of episodes. But when that nigga went, he been trying to get him a motherfucking dragon. I ain't think he was gonna get Vagar ass. I thought Vagar was gonna straight bite the fuck out that nigga. <laughs> I thought he was gonna burn this shit. That nigga was done. But he said no. Got that big ass dragon. Took that motherfucker for a flight. I Why did you doubt it? He's Targaryen. He's still Targaryen because of the cage, bro. I thought that that shit. I thought Vagar was that nigga. I thought Vagar was. Oh, you didn't think he was going? No. Okay, I see what you said, and it, and it makes sense. Why would he so easily go to the kid after he was hesitant to even torch old girl and just had that whole. But that just go to show you, bro, animal instincts, bro. They don't yeah. think how we think. Yeah, so it's yeah. like whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? So clearly, this little motherfucker's a badass is what it's telling me. So I'm like, okay. Then he come back in. That nigga had smooth-ass line. I ain't catch it till I watched it the second time when I came in here with you. Hold and up. she said, you stole, let's call it. That nigga said, she said, it's him. He said, it's me. Like, damn, nigga, <laughs> like, you can go come in like that. <laughs> she talking about, Vagar is my mom's dragon. Vagar has a new rider now. Like, damn, yeah. nigga, you can't keep dropping these cold ass like, lines like that. Hey, say, if, but if I was him, no, I feel where he coming from, no. Like, That's anytime it. I get the flex, I'm dropping my nuts then, on y'all t- <laughs> Then that nigga say, I may have lost an eye, but I gained a dragon. Like, look, uh, fam, I don't like you, but I fucks with you. And full it's of a difference. You know bitch, what like, full of quotables, dog. <laughs> man. But, uh, yeah, he did what they asked until they got the jump in his ass. They get that, bink, 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 hooker, hooker, oh, hooker, wow. fight back, fight back, oh, yeah. fight back. That shit was funny in the motherfucker. But so, we, so you can officially say 
That's where Amen got put on it. <laughs> hey, nah, Amen got put on with the Dragon Rider. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody yeah. else spoke Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Down there. For real, for real. Like, I mean, his story is kind of... I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting, though. They said a bunch of shit. We finna see a lot of Dragon. But just get ready to see a lot of Dragon. So y'all far, like who it? you rocking with? Okay, go ahead. Please. Well, team, nah, fuck that. Which team I'm on? The greens or the blacks is what you asking, basically. I'm with the blacks, cause the greens on some fake, fake snaky shit, bro. Like that nigga said, Rhaenyra's the motherfucking heir. Granted, her kids is bastards, but her, he's the fucking heir. God damn it! So mind the goddamn, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's really I how. Think, I think she need to stay in this a queen space. I'm not gonna say a woman, but a queen space. Yeah, she has been. She done, she done stepped out of line a few times. So y'all wanna know? Y'all wanna know what happens in the stories, in the book? That so in the book, Laner dies for sure. So that's already something changed from the fucking original shit that we won't know what how how he could, how he may come back or may not. He probably won't because we don't hear about him in the book, but we never know with Game of Thrones. Two, uh, when Viserys dies, that's when shit goes really off. But for the last episode, Rhaenyra, they they gonna dip, I think, or some shit. They not gonna be in Westeros at the moment, and fucking. Allison is gonna fake as if Viserys didn't didn't die. He's gonna die, and her and her dad and the council is gonna be doing a bunch of shit in the meantime before they even tell Rhaenyra that she died, that he's dead and shit. You see what I'm saying? And so when the motherfucking she's gonna have another baby and then come back, and they gonna name the set her firstborn the king, and he's gonna be king instead of the little one that's supposed to be. And that's when shit's gonna pop off. So she's gonna finna get rolling really soon. I mean, it's already fucking. It's it started. That whole just ain't got that that's fucking what, momentum. Nah, that's, what nah, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, yeah, it's, it's, bro. Because this, it's this last cool. episode was like deep. Yeah, it was like this. This, this is like, uh. but now like once that bitch, I don't know if Viserys is gonna die next episode uh-huh. or the one after. But I'm pretty sure. It makes sense for him to die the next episode if they do 10. Because that was 7th episode. So if they do 10, it makes sense for him to die next episode. That way the last two, they can start the war. But I think that was pissing. Bro, the end of the season is going to be the start of the war. We not going to get none of the big shit, none of the big fight shit. The end of it is going to be them naming somebody else king after he dies or some shit. I am now. Nah, we going to get a battle, bro. <coughs> There's gonna be a battle. Of There's gonna be a big battle, but yeah. that's but that's gonna be what starts. It's gonna be the big battle, and then they name him king. But you gotta think how Game of Thrones ended they shit. They ended it with somebody dead. It wasn't a big battle. Motherfucker be nah, you either, shit. There's they either do two things. Game of Thrones either does two things. Or no, actually three. Not a gun portion, not aiming, hanging. You yeah, will, it's gonna end on the cliffhanger for sure. You either get you either get the uh big battle on the finale, yeah, right before it. Or the one right before that. The last three episodes, most of the time, you're going to get a big battle yeah, in yeah, those. Get, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, hell, you may get another one in the same season, which yeah. I'd be like, oh, hell, yeah. Like when they was doing the whole Night Walker thing, they had multiple where I was yeah, like, okay, yeah, jump that bitch off. But I'm, I. It's going to be interesting. With that in Rings of Power, bro, is it because we is it because we so hyped for, for it? Or do you think those seasons are going by like pretty fast? I niggas can't say we are going with lack of content right now. There's hella That's good fast. content. And the fact that they're re-releasing shit weekly again, we can't binge it. Niggas think it's going by fast, but you would have been through it way faster had they released the whole fucking season at once. You would have been through we would have been through with this shit two, three weeks ago. You see know what I'm saying? <coughs> so it feels like it's going by fast just because every fucking week we talking about something. Game of Thrones probably feels like it's going by fast because every fucking episode is almost a banger. Probably ain't the fastest, most action packed, but most of them hoes has got something for you. Like, oh shit, let's talk about it. Oh shit, let's and talk about it. That's the thing. That's that's the and that's the thing, bro. And I'm glad that we haven't got to on any of the trailers or anything. Uh, season finale or a few episodes. For sure, left I think type shit on I that. think you looking at it through uh, tinted glasses because I would actually argue and say that the first season of House of Dragons is way more lit than the first season of Game of Thrones. Because the first season of Game of Thrones leads up to Ned's death. Yeah, they have, but that's that's relatively slow as fuck as well too. 
Cause you don't introduce too many fucking uh, battle scenes. You got what's called it falling at the shit, them finding the things. It's not too and many. And we gotta battles. deal with Joffrey bitch ass for no damn reason. Right. Like you it's not too saying? many. But this one opens up with us flying dragons and shit and the crab feeders and the what like I like that it jumped off because like I, if here's the thing, if like, shit don't jump off on Damon scene alone uh, Portia, Damon scene alone that when we thought he was surrendering to go fucking uh join the crab feeders and then that nigga just started demolishing they shit and they ended up fucking them up. That scene alone is better than Game of Thrones. Like first season. Like that first that shit was more action packed, had more story to it and all that shit. I'm sorry. They just House of Dragons has the benefit of having more money, more time, and already an established audience and an established lore that we've already seen. So they know what they can do with us. They know it's like, oh, wow, that sounds crazy. Pause. But they know what they can, like, show us and give us to where we can enjoy it and shit. And we've been eating that bitch up every season. First episode got White Walker. They got White Walker. They know S on that motherfucker. One. (laughs) <laughs> no, I think they showed you how the one was uh, made, but I think they we might have just saw like I think at the most maybe two or three, that like that saying, first, that, just, that first they like, yeah, but it was yeah, but it wasn't like nothing like it wasn't crazy Damon people, going yeah. to the crab feeder man. They jumped off on this one, but at the same time, the pacing with the story doesn't feel like while it's moving fast and they time jumping, it doesn't feel like they rushing shit. Right, right, right. right. And right. that's what I and that's what that's what I rock with it, but. Let's go ahead and pull up though. You got anything? Uh, you got anything else for it? No, nah, have dragons next week. We'll be on to the next one, episode eight. All right, you got a what the fuck going on though? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> y'all no lie. From the angle that I saw over here, and simple as y'all know him, he looked like Cedric when he freaking was sitting over here doing that laugh and shit from the side on the angle. A South African pastor who claimed to heal people by farting on their faces claimed he farts the Holy Spirit. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. My nigga, a South African pastor is for I'm sorry if I, that was racist. I mean, sue me. A South the, African the holding the belt. It's this guy. Oh, wait, that's me. That's me, too. Yeah, that's me, too. That's what's up. I fart in your face, you bless me. Oh, the fart in the... Pa- oh, between... A South African pastor who claims to heal people by farting on their faces claims he farts the Holy Spirit. This man is getting on this motherfucker and... You right put on your face in my ass and smell my gas. Nigga's giving him a toot from the pooper scooper. Yeah. I mean, how do you... What if he got like a hundred people lined up? How are you just gonna fart that many times? That nigga face. First of all, you know what? I'm not even mad at him. For the idea, <laughs> I'm about, you gotta be more mad. Like, who are you, dumb motherfuckers, willing to go put your head underneath this motherfucker's ass? First of all, I do not think the Holy Spirit stinks. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm sorry, that's one thing I ain't gonna think. I'm not gonna let nobody for Bradley. Me. Fun fact: I'm an ordained oh, minister. Boy, I bet you is, Bradley. We know you're gonna be in the back corners or somewhere. Bradley, you for real? Giving poopy poops. They wild. Oh wait, damn! Now I'm cracking wild. jokes. Are you serious? Wild. Bradley, are you telling me you can uh orchestrate? What what's the word? Orchestrate my wedding? I don't think it's orchestrate. I think it's something else. Yeah, but you can do my wedding if I ever choose to get married to one of these hoes. <coughs> this nigga, why I ain't got a bro to say? The wilding in Africa though. Wilding. Wilding. One dude I'm had kidding. the fucking hey hey hey. About AB? He said, "Yeah, for real." Since oh. he said, "Since 2014." Oh, oh shit. dang, we gonna have a simplest marriage then. I just gotta find me a, a, a little a little harlot, and we can get it done. You know what I'm saying? Gotta go find me a batwater whore, and we can go get married, man. You know what I'm saying? So he wants a batwater whore. Y'all heard it? I mean, she cooked the uh, cor- hot water cornbread. That's fine. That Bat way I can water. throw it at the dogs if they barking. Hush, puppy. Whore. <laughs> With a side of fit. Let me stop. Uh, Officiate. Thank you, Rihanna. That's the word I was looking for. Good. That's, all that. That's the word I was looking for. Well, no, no, no. I'm, just, I'm sure when he said uh, orchestrate. orchestrate. <laughs> I was close to the O word. That nigga gonna be like, and you are married. <laughs> Y'all ever seen that Catholic preacher that was dunking a baby in the water and dropped his ass? 
Oh yeah, that motherfucker was like, oh, that nigga was wrestling, that motherfucker, but that nigga was like, no, 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 that was like Carter Creek, bro. Like that nigga was dunking that motherfucker like he was at Keith the Poke Pools or some shit. Like nigga, that nigga was that motherfucker the master. Y'all like the public pool and you just dunking a little nigga because they said Oh, I'm beating his ass, bro. Bro, they were just watching. Hey, nah, hey, you know that nigga was like, that nigga was like, look, he was like, month old, he was literally like. Yeah, huh, 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 huh. Start dunking my baby. Hey, I don't give a fuck what method you think. Nah, I'm beating your ass in church. Nah, it's gonna be. It's, pro- baby, it's probably gonna be the longest I probably like ever spent praying because I'm gonna have to like a whole lot of forgiving to do after that. <laughs> being like the house of the Lord and all. Hell yeah, yeah. nah, I ain't gonna look. You ain't gonna see me on camera. I'ma just you go here look. Uh, and I'm just kick his ass. You gonna see me fly off screen? We just gonna fly off screen yeah. together. You be like, nigga, where the fuck he come from? Just gonna, we gonna keep Lord, going across. I'm talking about, bro. Like, if it's a cat, I ain't, bro. I'm not even Catholic, but you know, I'm hitting the confession room right after. Oh, that. Portia, I did see it. His ass. The pastor dude was rubbing asses for the woman of the Lord. That motherfucker was in that bitch like, Lord, bless these asses. Is that bad? Let's film? get these asses to be where they wanna be. No BBL. You don't need to go to Doctor Miami. You don't need to go down to fucking Jamaica. You don't need to go to Cuba. You can just go to the gym. You can just eat your collard greens. You can just eat your beans. And you can just go and run in between. I you know we, we going to get them I ass think we need to start doing that. Lord, that's how you get that ass. Throw some holy that's oil on that ass. Isn't it? Uh. Amen. <laughs> that's what that motherfucker was doing, wasn't <laughs> Nah, but say... I can I can get government funding if I wanted to start a church. <gasps> can we? Nah, damn, that would be too on the nose if we start to drink the Kool Aid Church. That's how you gotta do it. Boy. Yeah, now nah, we and I did that bitch. I'd be like, like, and God that told God, you, God, in the Brand, name of Jesus, that Brandon Stocks can get us on the way. I hate y'all. I mean, shit, Bradley's going to be the one to do it. We gonna, we hey. Got, hey, look, I'll be Dean. I'll be Dean Brown. We'll call it a bit Blaze It and Praise It. You this know is, what I'm this is Bishop, <laughs> This is Bishop Arnas. You know what I'm saying? And we in this bitch. Blaze That shit do got a ring to it. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, though. That shit do got a ring to it. Blazing and crazy. a motherfucking liar. We already do it every Wednesdays. <laughs> and God said. And Sundays. Flip to chapter 23, put your light in there, fire the thing up. We already have a church schedule, if you think about it. Damn, he, damn. So tell me, y'all, God has made it a way for us, and if he opens that door, Archie, what are we going to do? We going to go through it. We ain't going to stay here. We are going to walk through that door. Donation plate. (laughs) Donation oh, plate. Oh, man. The donation, donation plate for stars plate. and shit. Donation plate. <laughs> and now, right now, we are here to move you. Hit that star button right now. We are happy. <laughs> that's we that's we the, let me find out. That's the online church and shit. Thor. Right now, we're going to sit here for Sunday service. We're going to say, hit that star plate for Sunday service. Thank you. Throw yeah, yeah, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the collection plate. I'm going to take it. <laughs> oh, shit. These motherfuckers are wild, bro. Throw a gram in the collection plate. I'm going to take it. Oh, shit. Right Damn, we have lost. I'm sorry, receptive if I offended John. <laughs> nah, nah, it's, it's been nice. We've been, we've been, we've been a right around average. You know what I'm saying? Nah, fuck that. We're going to do what we do. Pull up thing. You know what I'm saying? Because we rock it how we rock it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even try to. I was just talking. I didn't even mean to come out. <laughs> Wait, I ain't making it no better. <laughs> I'm just making it fucking worse. But, uh, <laughs> the, 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 <coughs> Wakanda forever. Yeah, the Wak- Yeah, that yeah, you got going? it. You got it. Yeah, that's where I was Wakanda going. Wakanda forever. Yeah. <laughs> I had my Black Panther shirt on Monday. Who was in for the stream? Y'all see that shit? Had an old school Black Panther. Well, what's up? What you talking about? Yeah. Not important. No, I was just finna say, bro. Like, say if you get into a fight uh-huh. with the pastor at church, <laughs> okay. his ass, <laughs> like a Catholic church. And you go to the confession room, bro. Is it gonna be that same pastor you gotta talk to? You gotta have a substitute. I'm sorry, Father, for I have seen like a mother. <laughs> nigga, fuck you. You ain't, Every, going. Hey, <laughs> you ain't brother, making it. Brother Dean, brother Dean, nah, we're gonna you gonna know, need you to fill in. Nah, cause nah, you know them hoes closed. You can't even see at first, right? In. We just got so a squabble in the party. Nah, look, they, them hoes closed at first, and they not gonna know. He's gonna be like, I'm sorry, Father, for I have seen. He gonna be like, he say it. the other part, and then I don't know the other part, but he say the other part, and then he gonna start saying, I 
just got into it with a pastor. I had laid pause on him. Then fucking passed on the other side like. Bing, 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 bing. He just busted the wall. He just busted the wall. 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 Fuck your confession, bitch ass. Nigga, you got some cheap chops. Oh, ain't nobody here to save your bitch ass now, nigga. Oh, God. I can see something. Who's that, bro? Who's this? That shit, I had to substitute the pastor for the day. That's fucked up, though. <laughs> oh, shit. Money bag re coming through for that. You ain't blazing, you ain't praising. Oh, 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 that, oh, oh. oh, I got some shit. Pull up with another thousand. Oh, no, stars. Rihanna coming through, y'all. Kool Aid coming up. Thank, Thank you for your up. donation. Thank you so much. You know what's crazy, Portia? I don't think it's just black church women. I think it's just all old women. Uh, on God, I went to a white church. Some old ladies talk like, loud enough. Fuck uh, a church, nigga. Be go hella to, extra. Go to the bingo hall. My nigga can tell you, you can go anywhere. Them old, old bitches. Oh, they be gossiping like a motherfucker boy. Look, all right, look, oh, look. Story time. That in Domino Games. The old mess boy. Lady. The reunion. Hey. <laughs> so it was this old black couple right at the bingo hall. Dude was probably That's where it like, all starts. Dude was like 80, you know what I'm saying? 70, 80. It was an old Mexican lady. She was like, you know what I'm saying, the same age. You know what I'm saying? They both older, but he got his wife over here. She'll come to bingo with him some night, some night she didn't. Some night he'll be trying to sit over here with this Mexican lady, I guess, you know what I'm saying? He got to busting off bread and everything. But the shit she told me, she bro, this is what she told me. She was like, Yeah, 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 you know, me and him, you know. Just don't tell his wife. I was like, all right. She was like, but it, it's no, it's no worky. I was like, what do you mean? She was like, it's no window for the caca. Damn. I was like, she was like, it no, it no come up. I was like, bro, you ain't gotta tell me this <laughs> shit, bro. I ain't even look at that man no more the same. Like I ain't look at him the same no more. He was OG. Damn. He come in. He be like, cool. He be like, hey, what's up, man? Woo -woo. He try to give me some weed. Right. Guy trying to say some gas. It be some uh -huh. you know, regular yeah. weed. I couldn't even dap that man up no more. I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? I got to, I got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? But you need something right quick. All right, nah, hey, I'm look, going. I got, I got. Hey, look, hey, look, what type of weed is this? It's that blue rhino. I know you kind of. Oh, no, no, no. We got that blue chew. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Blue No way, no for the cop. You actually named propane gas. That's 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 outside. That's <laughs> yeah, you I was like, that blue rhino. Hey, no, that ain't it. it. I, but I know there's some rhino pills in that bitch that get you going. <laughs> nah, I see them bitches. There's a rhino on them pills. On one of them motherfuckers. Yeah, that's a rhino you talk, What? There's a rhino, and I don't know if it's just it's rhino or something. But like, <laughs> like naming them brands? Because I be saying like some of them sex pills and shit. Yeah, it's yeah, a blue at the corner yeah. store. That's what I'm saying, like one of the Bluetooth shit. Yeah. But it's like, it's, it's a, a rhino, rhino on that bitch. Rhino. I don't know. I don't know what. I, I just thought blue rhino. Cause that nigga said blue I rhino. I that shit and the Bluetooth together, motherfucker. <laughs> Bluetooth, I know for sure. Because I, I remember playing a uh, video during, uh back when I used to run the uh, breaks. From YouTube and shit, that nigga Big Jaw ran one where that motherfucker kept leaving bitches in wheelchairs. Yeah. <laughs> Cam I, Cameron got his own little thing too. He got like a T for it. He, I saw him uh, DM the promo with like a pink thing. It's called like Pink Something or something like that. You know, because you know, Cameron is the pink and shit. He got one. Cameron is like the boss before you get to the final boss. It's like you get that the Cameron and everything. then you get Jay Z afterwards. All right, I got a question for the ladies. Have y'all ever tried one of them pills that turn y'all on? What? Yeah, they got they got pills for they females, pills for bro. Females it's like the pink cat pill or some shit like that, bro. And it's supposed to, it's bitches. supposed to turn them up. You, you know, know what I'm saying? About like, the there's videos on YouTube where dudes, you know what I'm saying? Their boyfriend sneaking what? and their girlfriend drinking like 30 minutes. They all over that nigga the trying bitches, to, you know what I'm saying? He's just like, bro, get off me type shit. The ones with dap, it help them get wet. Dap, I don't, dap, get the wet. The dry, get the wet. Turn wet. Fucking chemistry and science. <laughs> Wakanda trailer, bro. Wakanda forever. What was y'all thought? What was y'all thoughts on or when y'all first saw? What y'all take? What y'all take away from that shit? Let's just go and get straight to it. The chick. Y'all think it's Shuri? Yeah, y'all think it's gonna be one of the other ones? I think it's Shuri. Hopefully. Oh yeah, no, I def, I definitely think it's, I definitely think it's his sister since they have it on the um brother. Since they have it on the um. Blue Nikes, aka these, aka E pills. That's what I don't know what that is. Well, kind yeah, of forever. Nah, for I can't say though. May more. Well, she's talking about. Well, you know what I'm saying? People just call it. You know what I'm saying? X, X, O. Oh. Shit like that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, that whole deal. Um. Oh, E pill. Oh, duh, my shit. Well, 
What's it? I mean, that's street right there. Yeah, huh? huh. What's it called? Uh, uh, no, I definitely think it's gonna be sick because they had like the whole little uh, memorial thing on the walls and shit. They gonna just do the same thing they did with fucking. What do you think? Man. What What do you think the uh, the story is with uh, there's with a, Namor? Poor, uh, there's another up. villain, not Namor. You know, Namor that nigga that just care about it. He just want to save Atlantis or whatever the fuck is the name of his underwater city is. Uh, he was lit though. They actually got his little fucking feet wings. Oh yeah, you saw that I shit. I saw that shit. Them hoes, bro. Them hoes. Out, it was like the gold. It was like the golden snitch on Harry Potter. And them he was flickering, mo- bro. And he was moving smooth. They got him doing a little. They had him move a little jump through the air and some other shit and some fl- like. I'm gonna enjoy watching that. All of that shit. I think there's another villain. I don't know who the villain's gonna be. That's what I'm interested in. I don't think the villain is Namor. I think he's like a like. Mid villain, and then towards the end they're gonna, cause you know Namor is gonna be like a, and he looks too uh, culturally appropriate for them to make him just the villain. You know what I'm saying? Like he he really fits like the Aztec like my, you know what I'm saying? That type of tradition and shit. And the, so I don't think they're gonna just straight up make him a villain. I'm gonna have anxiety watching this movie, bro. Oh yeah, I think it's oh, gonna yeah. be yeah, it's gonna be one of them. Oh, yeah. I think it's bro, gonna be one nah, of them. it's just bro, like I got a phobia with just like. Water and shit like that, all that big body of water. And shit oh, and it's fucking Wakanda gonna, gonna flood. I like, had bro, anxiety I'm, watching that the first one. Me up, fam. And like, I don't know why real. Wakanda's gonna flood, but Wakanda's gonna flood. I, I hope. I, I ain't gonna lie. I hope whatever happens in the water has something to do with you know the little Easter eggs back in the day. Used that they, they uh, like I think it was in game. Yeah. It was like something going on in the Pacific, and they were like, "Well, how do we handle shit?" She was like, "Well, shit, it's in the ocean. We just let it handle." Like, hopefully yeah, that's something to do, to do with, with that right there, like, man. That they, I hope they go back to that. Yeah. Hey, let's pull up to some of these. Uh, What's popping, Victor? Uh, sip yeah. on these comments and shit. Pull up, dropping in with it. Oh damn, I'm coming out with the candy shot out up in there. DJ repping that. What's good, man? Nah, Rachel, we hit that bitch together. You got me fucked up. You my Marvel partner now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Need the mob in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? We watching that motherfucker. Oh God, me and Archie slide with y'all, fuck it. Hit that hoe, real deal. Rob, I'm in that thing. Alhamdulillah. Hey, uh, Watch Black Panther, baby, gonna cry. Uh, so <laughs> wait, if the new Black Panther is the head of the guards, he says, what if the new Black Panther is the head of the guards? I wouldn't be mad if it's a Koye. I would not be mad if it's a Koye, cause I, that's uh, that's basically fucking Michonne, if I'm not mistaken. Is that the chick that played Michonne? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, nah, she deserves it. She's a, she's, she's legit. And she played a right. Koye straight. So, if they go that way, I'm not mad. But if they go Shuri, she just better get her act together. That that was my that was my main thing I want to talk about. If they... I got a question. If they go Letitia Wright for fucking Black Panther and she becomes the face of the Black Panther franchise, I hope she takes this shit seriously, bro, because... I said this shit on stream last night. Oh, you remember when she was doing all the flaky shit? The flaky baby. shit with the fucking things. I hope she doesn't become a super diva, bro, because that's what it seems like she is. Now, granted, I could be talking out my ass and they could be bad headlines. Cool, that could be possible. But from what we saw, she's a, it seems like she's going to come off diva-ish and like does shit her way and this, that, and the other and b- a bunch of excuses to delay films and shit. But it's like, fam, if you the face, you got to be one of the main reasons. It's like the quarterback, goddammit. You got to be driving the ship with the shit. So, so you and, you good, follow, and you feel in chat with Bozeman shoes, God damn it! So I got a, I got, a, I got a weird theory. What? I got a weird theory that just popped into my head as I sat here talking. And I wanted about them to recast Michael so B. Jordan. He fell off. He fell off that. Uh, he fell off into the water, right? Nope, they didn't show the death. They didn't show the body. You don't show the body, and if everybody don't know what I mean by that, it, in cinema, and I thought he fell. I thought he. I thought he fell. He didn't fall into no water or he nothing. He fell on the Chadwick. He fell on the Charlie. Charlotte character was holding it. The last image we have of Killmonger is him being held by Chad with both. Huh. I'm tripping. I don't know why I thought that. He, anyway. Just because he said throw me into the ocean, like, well, so you would he think that, he, that they threw him into the thing. But as, after he says that, he stabs himself and he just puts himself together. He just lays in the Wakai arms. We have, we didn't see him die, burial, none of that shit, so we don't know. Multiverse, all that shit, but they could have fucking, but I guess it is too soon because we still mourning Chad with Bozeman. So it got me going. I feel like I keep going like this because at the same time it's like, bro, T'Challa's too fucking important to have been recast. T'challa. He's just no, he's too T'challa. important to the Marvel universe to be recast because who is Storm supposed to be uh, getting into a relationship with now? I know everyone on the fucking planet wants to see T'Challa and fucking Storm have kids. Little Azuri come around with his Black Panther lightning fucking powers and shit and make it lit. We can't really get that if he's dead in the fucking universe. 
Hey, so I get it. R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. Well, no, this is but it's gonna we gonna get it. It's gonna, it's gonna be in a different. That's just one of those things. It's gonna be a multiverse thing or something. But they, 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 maybe they're they gonna, they gonna take liberty with that. They're gonna recast him later. That think, part, they, think, that part think, they gonna have to take no, liberty I think, with. I think they're gonna use the multiverse to recast him in a few years. They're gonna let it build without an actual T'Challa Black Panther for a while. Let us rest on it, and then five years maybe. He's gonna pop out of nowhere. He's a from child another, u- from a ch- or just another universe. Give Remake. us an actual T'Challa. Just give us a recasted T'Challa from another universe and shit. Oh, 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 oh I mean, while we on Marvel, you want to talk? Damn, my fucking feet. Good thing I can't see this shit. I'm scratching my ankle like a bitch. But uh, fucking. It's while already we on right Marvel, there on this. Already right there on the segue. Go ahead. Wolverine, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, Deadpool. Oh, no, nah, that wasn't it. I thought you was going somewhere else. But I'll go for that, too, then. Yeah, I'll say Hell, it. yeah, let's talk about it. Because we, did we watch that? Did, was that the one I pulled up in here when we was together? Uh, no. I did pull that one with no. you? No. Okay. But, uh, I, haven't, I've, I, haven't, I haven't seen it, but I've, I just, I've heard about it. Oh, God, uh, I got to show it to you after this. Here's the thing. I, what I liked about it, bro, is I like how Hugh Jackman came out and just confirmed how, and again, how motherfuckers be online talking shit that they don't know. If you wish to pay attention to the comment section, Motherfuckers would have had you thinking that he's never he, that. He, that he got tired of the Wolverine role and it was such a like just a a struggle and a fight to get him to, to get him to keep coming back and playing that role. He said that wasn't the case. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He said that was he said that was never mm-hmm. he said that was never the case. He never had a problem. He said, uh, and why would you? That's fuck. Come on said, now. And then after the MCU started buzzing, he said the MCU hit him up to start uh to come back. He was like he'll think about it. But the thing was, he was like, he was getting too taxing. He was going to get too old to play Wolverine. But shit, with the way the MCU film shit, they don't need him to exactly. get all bulked it up like he the, used to. Exactly. They don't exactly. need him to do that. Like Iron Man didn't have to do shit the last fucking five. Uh-oh. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Oh, we got that. Hell, Tommy. Hell, Tommy. Watson. Good, man. I'm getting my ass whooped in your fantasy league. What's happening, man? Pull up, bro. How you been, man? How's it going down there in Bama? What's good with your broski? Um, but so yeah, no, nah, I'm actually I'm I'm hyped for that, bro. I really am because just with Wolverine being in Deadpool alone, that opens up so many possibilities. I just want the humor to be on par. I know that, like, like, oh, it's and, not, and not like just comedic. I want the physical humor. I want Wolverine. I want Hugh Jackman to turn his jackass on because we know he nice as fuck. But when he turns his Wolverine on, I want him to turn that bitch up to like a thirty when he dealing with Deadpool because you know Deadpool get fucking annoying and they gon and they gonna go back and fuck it, bro. Fuck that him shit. up and Deadpool gonna have to regenerate a few times. I, he probably gonna I, have like a 30, few times. Nigga, nah, he I gonna need be to like, oh, he learned and he gonna resent. He gonna come back, start some more shit, and he just ain't gonna. He Deadpool is not gonna learn to after about probably like a hundred tries. He's not because he regenerates. I need him to be cutting his hand off every time he try to do something. I need like what's called he just. Whoo. But they you know what shit. <laughs> like I just. Whoo. But you know what? To keep it real though, why they should do it? Because honestly, that I wouldn't want to sandbag, sandbag him like that. Yeah, have him get his ass whooped. But shit, Wolverine can regenerate too. That's no, that's gonna be good. Cut that motherfucker leg out. Hell yeah, nah, they, that they, initial, lose. they initial. I need to have them fighting at some point. Like I'm Batman like, versus like, Batman versus Super, uh, versus Superman is unnecessary. Wolverine versus Deadpool is. Very much necessary. The movie needs to jump off like that, and somewhere in the middle, they need to have another one. And they need to reference Origins. Nigga, they gonna make so much fun of Origins, nigga. That's what we not meant, nigga. All the jokes that's gonna come of niggas gonna be like, yeah, I can talk this time. Like, nigga, that that shit gonna be fucking funny, (laughs) fam. Deadpool gonna be all up in his face. Yeah, what? what? He's like, I'm not the same. I hate saying motherfucker. I'm not the same last that shit crazy. They still haven't gotten him his teleporter yet. That's what's pissing me off, though. They need to hurry up and give Deadpool his teleporter. Because that, that's one of my favorite pieces. That, I have. Man, and that, right, and that right there may be his link to the MCU right there. Yeah, I mean, because you got to you got to think the, we the ain't credit got... scene, the end credits of the last one, he was time jumping and he was bouncing through the time screens, cleaning up the time screens and shit. So he could easily, with the way the fucking Doctor Strange and Multiverse shit goes. He fucked some shit up and got thrown into what's going on that way. We still got the Ant-Man deal coming up. 
Ant Man and Dad, Ant Man and Deadpool in the same scene bro, gonna have trailer, us fucking rolling on the fucking floor, bro. bro. The trailer was only out for Comic Con and it's still making so much noise. I need that bitch to come out so I can see what because Kang is on his villain shit. We see Kang on villain shit in the Ant Man trailer. I need to see that. Shit. Nigga say you still He say you stole something from me. Nigga Ant Man says you're messing with the Avengers. Nigga Kang say you an Avenger? That means I killed you before. Like. <laughs> Nigga, yes, nigga, give me yeah, that type of shit, nigga. I need that type, like, for real. Like, Thugging man. out here, man. All right, but since we talking Marvel right now anyway, then, uh, let's go ahead and keep it up on Blade, then, and uh, the frustrations uh, going on with that. And after we do that, we're going to get to some of y'all simplest topics, and then we're going to keep it going. Roll out. But it's a rollout. And it's a... Uh, rollout. It's rollout, and it's a... Uh, oh, Rannikin! Because you got to think about it. This would be the second black-led actor, to, like, movie to come from fucking Marvel, the MCU. You see what I'm saying? We got, yeah, we got Falcon and Winter Soldier, but that was counterweighted with Bucky also being a lead at yeah. the same time. You see what I'm saying? So with Blade coming out and being the solo one again, and it's not Black Panther, Chadwick's not, I think it's to set low expectations for the movie to where everyone's like, oh, fuck, man, this shit's not going to be I think you're good. right. I just think it may be for a different reason. We're ready to now. flop. This shit's going to flop. That way, when that bitch does Ooh. come out, niggas think it's going to flop. But in reality, it's pretty good. Everything happened is what it is. I don't think... I Because, you know, Marvel likes to do that. They throw out... Uh, what's the word? Like, fake bait type shit. They'll throw out shit for people to eat on and shit while they got a whole movie in the works over here. That's how they hit, like, the in-game twist and shit like that for so long. So... I just take that shit with a grain of salt when it comes to that shit. I like I could see maybe setting low expectations, but for a kind reason, not like not like what you said though. I think it has to do with more of the old Wesley Snipes movie, and that's the one that everybody remember. So you want to make have those expectations low, okay. so people not going in with Completely. oh yeah oh this supposed to be just as hype because they gonna go in oh this ain't what I remembered or. You know what? I didn't hear motherfuckers always trying to ice skate uphill and shit. I'm not gonna like, make you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna make a bold statement yet, but I'm gonna go back and watch all them fucking Blade movies, and I'm gonna, I gotta see. Right. Oh, we got, and we can do, we can do them all together. We gotta see. I can tell you right now. I know they're good, but I, it's been. There's amazing. definitely some. Um, yeah, we go. Yeah, we, we need to go. Because I do know they had. I do know one thing about his his stubborn ass. Wesley Snipes cool and all, but his stubborn ass. Didn't want to open his eyes for a fucking take, so they had to CGI, CGI his eyes on the motherfucking scene and shit when he was laying down on the thing. And when I saw that shit, I was like, "Fam, you can't get no more diva than that, fam. Like, what the fuck? And this 2000 and shit, like, you can't CGI eyes that good, like. <laughs> so when you look at it now, Kevin like, say he off now. We got all kinds of you're <coughs> in the fucking chat. And my man came in shooting dice. I know it was Kevin. I know it was Kevin. Yep, it was Kevin. It was Kevin Poen the fuck up. That's what the hell I'm talking about, y'all. Let's keep that comment section popping and hey, stay sipping because we're we gonna hey, get look, to y'all questions. Portia, you right. After a while, we do just be high as hell talking about shit. Don't even we don't even fuck the topics. We use the topic as a guideline and then we just get to going. That's how it just get to go. But hey, trust we always got plenty. But we always bring it back around town. Now, uh, hey, look, I ain't even working out, but I, hey, look, these cameras got me feeling myself though. I mean, y'all see my tan, fam? I hate Ice my cubes. job. That shit, ugly ass tan, bro. Well, Alexa, boy, before you drop in a topic request and stuff like that, you gotta check like the headlines and stuff like that, cause I think we got Brady in the headline thing on there. So you would know that we talking about that. Uh, let's see. Have you heard the rumor of Disney Plus releasing a Dragon Ball movie series? It comes in from Tyke. Dragon Ball movie series. Yeah, you sent that picture of Goku, and I saw that. I didn't know if that was real. I don't know if that's real. If it is, <coughs> I'm watching. I will let it make it to see how it goes. Because you have to reintroduce shit to kids at some point. Yes. You see what I'm saying? And if Disney does it and they make Goku a way to teach people how to learn and shit, 
I'm all for that shit, bro. That's just more expansion into the, you know what I'm saying? The fact that you could go back and, you know what I'm saying? And if they make like, it to where it fits in canon and shit to where in some sort? I would, I, I, I'd actually be for that. Quincy Wood, we gonna get to the tour and shit a little, a little bit later towards the end of the show. Cause we talking about Brady and all that deal. Because it's been, what, over 30 years since Dragon Ball, right? Like the original Dragon Ball. Yes. yes. Like over 30 for yes. sure. Yes, that's facts. For sure, for sure. For sure. I, yes, that's facts. Dragon Ball Z is older than me. David, oh, yeah. what do you mean by swingers? He dropped for the, Are you talking about the movie with, uh, with, uh, motherfucking, uh, that's a good topic. Vince Bond, or are you talking about what? That's a good, that's a good one. I, hey, we can, yeah, swingers is a good one, especially with us, uh, what the fuck? I had to say, pull up for swingers. your boy. It's B-Day weekend. The actual day is Monday. <coughs> yeah, it is our birthday week, tight. Hold them shits up. Hey, y'all pop out. We're going to the club. <coughs> Gas tank might be on E, but all drinks. Hey, four days. Right look, I ain't going to lie. Down. I'm dropping a video on my birthday. That bitch ain't even ready yet. That bitch ain't even edited. It's shot, though. Shout out to my boy. We got that bitch shot and ready. We got some shit coming through. And I ain't gonna lie. This, the camera set up right here, it just look good. I'm high now, but just looking at the bitch. I told you. Up, this shit, I like, told you. My boy came in here the other day. He said, bro, y'all room got so much personality. Like, it really do. This hoe just vibrant, and it just fits. And Nobody that knows. was the point. Oh, God. Ankle yes, just sir. That big, oh, God. He just yes, in this hoe witnessing. <laughs> oh, shit. She got this nigga ankle. They gonna think this nigga play basketball or something. <laughs> the way they caught this nigga ankle. That should be out of there, boy. My ankle's out of there. For How many months did we actually got on the thing? I know it wasn't heavy. One, two, today. three, four, five topics. Oh, nigga, we be running these topics then, because I thought we was been running through shit. Nah. We been, so, what do you say, unpacking, packing, and then packing it back and unpacking again? God damn. <laughs> Let's pull up on this next one. Women be right. What you mean? <laughs> women be right. I right, look. Right. I right, look. Women, ladies. That's what I'm talking about. Ladies and gents, I wish we had shit set up to where we can get the plan. We gonna work on it soon. Ladies, y'all be right sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes these niggas ain't shit. They call big cups for that shit. Sometimes these niggas is terrible people. And sometimes. Y'all been through the ringer with these bullshit motherfucking ass niggas. And they make it hard on niggas like me. They make it hard on niggas like us. Yo, you definitely read about that. Go ahead and preach, because I know I'm about to agree with this shit. I'm already rocking with you. Y'all come to niggas like us so fucking damaged. And I can't blame you, because now I know the last nigga you dealt with don't know how to brush his teeth properly. You see what I'm saying? I know he don't know how to clean in between his toes. His shoes smell like fungus. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't make sense to me. I know he don't know how to wipe his balls properly. You know what I'm saying? So when they come to a nigga like us, they damaged. And they don't, they check it behind a nigga. It, I do it. Pretty I already cool. know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Quick question. I, what? How is me being fresh and that nigga being funky got to do it? You know what I'm saying? Her being damaged. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hold on. Listen, 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 listen. This is how. Because. That is a good correlation question, though. I do get the correlation. Man, let me answer. Because just like we are fed falsities in our childhood growing up about how we should treat women. Yeah. Women are also fed some falsities on how they should treat men as well. Okay. Right? Okay. They are taught to treat men to a certain extent. Like, oh, if that's your man, you should treat him like this. If you love him, you should do this and this. And so they first one, they all treat them like that king thing. They do shit for them. They do all they do, treat them, give them the benefit. They then shit. motherfuckers take advantage of that shit and do all some and bullshit. And then, but see, they think because dude talk to them sweet, dude give them attention and shit, they start bypassing all that shit. They didn't acknowledge that the nigga didn't clean between his toes at first uh -huh. because he was good conversation or whatever. They related on some type of shit. But then after a while, and it started, like, you know what I'm saying, piling up on the motherfucker, she started realizing, oh, this motherfucker, he like hot sauce on this nigga. That shit just pissed her off because the last nigga was a bullshit motherfucker, and he like hot sauce on this noodle. So when you like hot sauce on your noodle, she has a flashback, right? Because, yeah, I know it's a stretch. I know, I know, I know. I what know. brought this up? <coughs> I'm high as hell. <laughs> I don't know. I saw some shit. Oh, no. What brought it up? I actually do know what brought it up. That's like, bro, shit, just, you know what I'm saying? When you don't like person, 
I the do. shit that person do just start pissing you off like that motherfucker just eating chicken, bro. I Why do know. Fuck you eating I do know what brought like it up that? though. Hold what, up. what brought it up was, uh, shit. I'm almost to it. Three, two, oh, one. And why the fuck you wanna be slow here? Nigga won't post. Women are so negative. What's wrong with suggesting that you smile, LOL? And somebody posted, a fine nigga ain't gotta tell you to smile. That's just the initial post. But that little <coughs> smile question, I'm sitting here like, bro, why is this shit still a big ass deal? Why are y'all asking random bitches to smile for one? Like, granted, I get what y'all saying. Chicks should be happy. Whatever the fuck I guess you're trying to say, maybe. That is still like a loose base interpretation. Uh-huh. But, like, then I started reading the shit. Are we negative or are y'all just, are that request weird as fuck? I give you that. Why do y'all feel entitled to them appeasing you? They do not owe you comfort contrary to your belief. Like, all that shit. Like, I'm with them on this shit. Like, no. bitch, if nigga, why the fuck? You shouldn't have to, if they, number one, here, there's two, there's two sides of that, I'll give, I'll give the first one, and this is the one that I mainly agree with, and it's with the females on this. When females is already feeling a motherfucker, when you a man and you already doing your motherfucking job, you ain't gotta be sitting there asking them and begging them for shit like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When you a man and you doing your shit, guess what? Just by you doing you and being you, you gonna make her smile off top. <coughs> what the agree. fuck you having to ask her to fucking smile for? Agree. That uh, means you ain't got it, nigga. Just that's what it is. Some got it, some don't. And for that one, you don't. And that's just that's just that's just what it is. Now the second side of that is where you have the one the females who be fighting that shit. You know what I'm saying? As far as keeping their game face on all the time and that's shit like true. that, and don't be wanting to smile, which be the ones who, when you just being courteous holding the dough, they don't say thank you or some shit like that. that. You know what I'm saying? But the one the ones who just be having an attitude just to have an attitude all the time. The, like, that's more of those types. That's like to the first thing though. A fine, like if they if they like you or they attracted, they gonna smile at your Exactly. Ass. If they not feeling you, fam, calm down. Exactly. Another one say, when men say to smile, it has nothing to do with perceived unhappiness, but their need to experience me in the way that they want. I am adult and the face is my face. Hey, looks is not that pleasant. Nah, I saw it was another one I wanted to see. Here you go. Why don't men tell other men to smile? That's what the what the fuck I want to see. Okay, pull up tight. What's going <laughs> on? Ruben, he said, we talk about the Rakana trailer. Yeah, we just got done talking about it. But, hey, pull your comments up in the damn man. We'll go back and revisit it or whatever. If you got something you want to uh, chop it up on or pull it up in the topic session, and we can get to it. Go hey, ahead. Kid Fo posted some funny shit to it. Well, he said, because clearly you're smiling in your Abby, my brother. So in his avatar, he's smiling. He was like, cool. Nigga say, LOL, that's funny, but don't evade the question. I venture to say, you know what's wrong with the question, and that's why you never told a dude, especially one who is much bigger than you. And nobody uh, said none of this shit. So it's like, yeah, I get it. Dude, will you tell a nigga to smile? But that's where I hit you with the Uno reverse card, bitch. Because, yes, I will tell a nigga to smile. If you just walk around with an angry face, I'll be like, nigga, chill out. Smile, nigga. like, what the fuck you doing? Like, see, and we do that. And this is where, bro, people be living in their own realities too much. They mm-hmm. live on what they fucking think. And they think everybody else doing that shit. And it's like, no, the fuck we don't. No, nah, Bradley, no, nah, pro- We don't pro- we don't process shit like that. If a mo- if we sitting there chilling and the motherfuckers around being a Debbie Downer and the host was like, hey, nigga, you got to cheer the fuck up because you fucking up the vibe, bro. Oh, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, don't like, and especially when it's for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's for nothing or your ass choosing to sit over there and be all sobby on some bullshit that you shouldn't be mad about or giving your fucking attention for, nah, fuck that. You ain't about to be fucking up the vibe. We do that shit. Yeah. And a real nigga ain't going to be mad about that shit either. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's just so what that is. To bring this all back, Ladies, I sometimes feel y'all with these niggas that be trying to talk to y'all. These niggas weird, out of control, and they don't know how to talk to y'all. So I'm sorry, and y'all be right sometimes. But don't come to me acting like I'm him. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not that guy. I'm him. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> you get what the fuck I'm trying to say. But I'm not him. I'm him. See what I'm saying? It's the difference. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pull up, dog, nah, with that shit, bro. I rocks with you uh, on that. Ruben, just thought it looks great, and to be honest, I'm excited for the his- Hispanic representation, especially we're finally having a Hispanic as his... See, exactly. That's why I'm so glad they gave Namor an actual, like, cultural identity, because he doesn't really have one in the comics. It's just, like, Atlantis or, like, Submariner. That's his shit. Right, you know and I mean? with the way he's drawn, he could be anything. He could be Italian. Whatever. So for them to put it with the like Mayans, Aztec, or I don't know exactly which one. You may have to put me on exactly which one they're using. But for them to put it in that culture and give I it think the right symbolic, now, you know what I'm saying? All, all the they have right now is just America Chavez, right? 
She, uh, oh, yeah, that had? would be the only other Is Hispanic that? one. And they started that movie off introducing her with Spanish, so I was with that too. I fucked with that. She, her, and Doctor Strange were speaking Spanish to each other when they first entered the fucking uh, movie. So I was with that too. So I'm with you, uh, Ruben. I, I'm down to see that shit. Mayan, that's the word. Uh, Mayan. Uh, Let's give a shout out to my man Ty for pulling up with that share as well. What's good, broski? Whoa, Ruben. That kind of made me motherfucking think. Because the Mayan shit, you know, they got the calendar. So now the fucking, what if the little flood, like, oh, man, it's just so crazy how they can in, intertwine with so much different shit to it. I fuck with it. My little theory's head is going. I'm going to have it. I'm going to create a theory channel for all the theories I'll be watching this shit just to re reintroduce them to you motherfuckers. Because that shit be lit. I'll be high. <laughs> but see, that's why, hey, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you probably just going to look up and the motherfucking camera may be on and we just may be in this bitch talking shit. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Uh, <clears throat> y'all ready to pull up on the next one? Next. All right, then. Well, shit, let's go ahead and get to... Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's see if the sippers got any more up in here before we go so we don't neglect oh, They can oh, use so much yeah. cultural aspects. Of, yeah, that's why I'm glad that they keep introducing new characters. Good. They keep introducing and, like, each character comes from, like, different... What's called? People, like, may not like it. They want fucking Iron Man back and shit, but give me whoever the fuck you want. The, Ma the Mayan gods are gonna be interesting to see how they uh, work, especially after looking at like uh, the last Thor movie and shit. Even though people not fucking with it. Bet. Uh, what's it called, bro? I got. Uh, we gonna go ahead and pull up on these next two, and they kind of what? It's a two, it's a two in one, really. Uh, you wanted to go in. What did you have? Oh, you said you had something on Dahmer Part Two. Oh, was that for the last? Was that for the last? <coughs> or was that, was that for nah, that's for shit. Right? It's okay. coming from the guy who ain't watched no nothing. Because the reason I do that shit is because it's it's our American obsession with murderers. Murder. And the part two of it this time is I don't mind documentaries, and this is what I was asking you about with the one you was watching this morning. Uh huh. Uh, is it just a doc that's giving me just the facts? Or is it something like how they redid, how they did with Dharma, or are they trying to humanize this motherfucker? And they trying to give me the backstory of why he's like that? Cause I don't give a fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. You okay. see what I'm saying? Nah, and that, so, like, like, and yeah. we gonna get into the one, cause the part of the one that I was watching is what spawned the topics that I got going Connected with this one. Yeah, and I kind of want to get in on that, but go ahead, go ahead. And, uh, and so technically in Dharma, they don't tell you why he's like that. But they, but that, this nigga grow up crazy on some like Michael Myers type and that's shit. That's what nigga just crazy. But that's fun. what humanization is. If you ain't gotta tell me why he's like that, but if you show me his parents beating him every day, if you show me yeah. his his people locking him up in the cellar or some shit, that's excusing the reason he's like that because he's crazy because the way he grew up. Yeah, I don't no, give a like fuck. That. This nigga did what the fuck he did. You see what I'm saying? So don't give me that. If you're going to give me a doc and tell me about the story of Jeffrey Dahmer, just tell me the goddamn story by the facts. Fucking clues. Show me the police clippings and show me the people it was affected by. But don't give me your motherfucking... I want interviews. I don't want my nigga popping the beer open and jamming to the motherfucking what's called it. And we can make memes of that shit. And now nigga Rick Ross wants motherfucking glasses and shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, I want some Jeffrey Dahmer shade. No, nigga, we shouldn't be idolizing this type of shit. We shouldn't be humanizing this shit. Like, oh damn, I would have survived if this nigga got me. I would have. I don't. That is why the fuck are we teaching this shit? This goes to my history. Doesn't matter because why the fuck are we teaching niggas about this shit? We don't need to know this shit. I, you know what? I, boy, Dahmer would have been ready for me. I keep it black twenty three with the. Nah, people. I got. But see, I got. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> no, 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 I got. On, 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 on the funny tip, I gotta, I gotta on, agree. With, I gotta tip. agree with this nigga on this one, just because, bro. Like, I'm, and it's just about not even just about being consistent, but it's because I really believe the shit. Like, we be giving passes on a whole lot of shit, just like how we done made like whole culture and shit like that. Cool. So fucking cool and just so passive now, and it's like, nah, yeah. nigga, my daughter ain't, but like, you got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But we excuse so much for saying, I'm with it. Like, there ain't no way in hell motherfuckers should be talking about, hey, we rocking some Jeffrey. Dunn. Nah, you better throw another name on that shit, bro. You better throw some Buddy Holly shades on, nigga. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you better do something. Cause something. That, that's just, that's not that's that's not it. Now, I get it if you talk, if you're doing a movie that's 
non-fictional straight up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All the okay, I I get that. Because, I need some Joker shade. Because when because I need when, some what's called shade, like but, it's Joker. But like if the character was doing that type of stuff, as far as like how you was talking about how he was being portrayed, I'd be okay with that because if I'm giving you a non-fictional character, I want you to be conflicted during this story. You know what I'm saying? Are you are you with him or are you not? That when some shit's real, that's that's different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause uh, on the one that I was watching, girl was talking about during the fucking trial, she had to leave cause she was crying and shit. She go outside and sit on the bench, and a motherfucker sitting right next to her got the same fucking tattoo as the motherfucker who killed her grandma and shit. Sitting here idolizing this motherfucker, right? Fucked her ass up even more. You know what I'm saying? It's bullshit. But uh, it's, it's bullshit. I'm with you on that, bro. Rihanna, that's why I like documentaries. I get you. It's teaching you what human nature is capable of, so you don't forget what to be careful of. Yeah, nah. That's you got National Geographic. You got you got your your actual the murder docs where it's documentaries. They tell you your first forty eight type. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, okay, this happened. Right. This, this happened here. But you this happened, like, here, this you, here. So you talk you talking about going and getting such and such to play this character? Why is Evan Peters the nigga who just played Quicksilver playing fucking Jeffrey Dahmer? Like, bro, perfect, uh, and I will just go ahead and get to it. The uh, I was watching the uh, I was watching the Night Stalker documentary, and in my opinion, bro, like he made Jeffrey Dahmer Dom- 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 shit, bro, kind of seem kind of small time to me, bro. Yeah, like on some real shit. And if y'all have seen it, then y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but uh. It's in documentary form. The only type of dramatization you would get was if you was watching some shit like on ID or like one of the crime stations or whatever. Like you probably see like the bloody hammer drop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. And they'll give you like a dramatization of the room, but then they'll still show you like the real photos and like the real videos that they were like showing on TV and shit. But I bro, ain't gonna lie though, shit funny. Nigga say, all you mother, all you do talking about Jeffrey Dahmer, I would have did this if Jeffrey Dahmer got me. I ain't know you was gay. Shit, straight had me low, laughing like a bitch because he only went after gay black, you know what I'm saying, the gay men and shit. So it's like, how are you even in that situation, Kimbo? You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, that shit, shit, that shit shouldn't even be in the motherfucking equation. But... On oh, Love Connection back in the day, wasn't it? That sound about right. I'm pretty sure something like one of them serial killers was on Hold up, but bro, this motherfucker was like dirty, stinky, you know what I'm saying? Had missing teeth and shit. But like, bro, he didn't give a fuck. He was, you know what I'm saying, killing kids, you know what I'm saying? Adults, old folks, you know what I'm saying? Middle, like, he, he, bro, there was, this motherfucker was not discriminating, bro. Like, he was, like, breaking into old ladies' houses, bro. Like, there was one where there was, uh. He was the game show killer or some shit like that. What? No, 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 no. That never got brought up on. That never got brought up on what I on what I was watching, and it would have been it would have been in there if that was him with how deep they went in. That, that, that this ain't it. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> motherfucker oh, broke into motherfucker broke into two. Uh, it was two. You had it was two old ladies. They were sisters. One was like bedridden, like uh, Grandpa Joe mm-hmm. on uh, Willy Wonka and shit. Yeah, they got that golden ticket to go that fucking yeah, factory. Yeah, and all ass. of a sudden his legs yeah, yeah, got to. Let's not even get us started on that. That nigga yeah. did that dancing and shit. He did a little jump dance where he tapped his feet together and shit. I, I thought I saw his ass crip walk a couple of times. Like, shit. Man, like that nigga, that nigga, that nigga slid through the hey, block. Look, I, I, that's, not, that's my he my goal. So I wish I could do that. He in the bed with four women. I don't know if they related or not. Bro, homie broke into the house and they were like in like 80 something years old uh, whisper raped, like he hears them rape the lady <laughs> rape the late rape the lady killed her you know what i'm saying and uh beat the other one but left her over there in the bed though and shit like this motherfucker was like crazy crazy bro like it was just, it was just some watching but i'm telling y'all if y'all do watch that shit do go back watch because they they showed they show that how this motherfucker's in court, and you got people sitting there idolizing this motherfucker, females and shit, just because they obsess. You know what I'm saying? Just because you famous, no matter who the fuck you are, what the fuck you done done, people gonna go out there and try like, to they oh, call, just make excuses for society Jeff, and shit. They gonna start calling this nigga Jeff. That's what they call himself. His bro. name, is, his name is Jeffrey Dahmer, bro. He is Jeff. a fucking serial killer. His name is Jeffrey Jeff. Dahmer. But check it. It's so, but like time. niggas, niggas, bro, it's they make, they friend. make fucking. Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies all the time. You watch them bitches, bro. That shit, that see, nigga was real. But what's his name? He had a real name. But I don't know what was. My point. See, he done the, the We chainsaw, gave him a name. He That's what it was. Texas le- le- Chainsaw le- Massacre. Le- I think Leatherface is the killer name or whatever, but that he became 
a moniker for fucking what's call it. We're not idolizing the person. It's a creepy, like, boogeyman type of character. Oh, they got this nigga address online. You can go pull up to his spot. That's fine, but we ain't got motherfucking... He ain't in this bitch sitting like his, so you can sit there and want to be this nigga on no, a Tuesday like night. Like this, nigga. Got you, like, on a Tuesday night. Got you feeling like you want to go. He on fucking Mortal Kombat where you can pull his heart out type shit. You know what I'm saying? That's where his multimedia shit comes in. He's on games and shit. He's not a meme to where it's like... You think his family get revenue for that shit? We don't know his family. Bro, yeah, they do. That nigga was you're locked mi- up and everything. Set, what's his name? But I can find out right I, now. That, but you're missing my point. It takes research, nigga. We are ta- we're we're making Jeffrey what, Dahmer a yeah. name to where what, like, what character y'all talking about, though, as far as getting research? Let's face it. All right, no, nah, okay. I actually did history report on this nigga, bro. Uh, wow. He is, but he ain't. The, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre character is a fictional character, but they based him off of... Ed Gein and a couple of other characters who had a whole bunch of different disabilities and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because even me, when I did my when I did my report and I was on the debate team, I presented it because what I found was fact. Like, oh, they were they were he was locked up in an asylum with them and blah 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 blah. But when I had to go research my research and had to dig deeper, it was like, oh damn, nah, he just. Cause bro, like there's a leather, combination of stories that created Leatherface. Right, like, exactly, exactly, like real stuff, but like a combination of like Albert Fish and Ed Gein and them. They kind of like threw them all together to create this one fucking so, character. And so that's the difference between Jeffrey Dahmer. We can say we have serial killer types. But that's where you get like Joker, the dude from uh, Victor's Ass, where he like cuts himself every time he gets a kill in Batman. You can have fictional characters that's like shit. The new Riddler is based off the Zodiac killer. You get what I'm saying? That's a real person. That was a real thing. You know what I'm saying? Blase, blase. But it's a difference when you have some fictional element to it compared to where, nah, these niggas is calling Jeffrey Dahmer Jeff. My nigga, no, nigga. It's like, the little, the little minion say, the only Jeff I know is Young Thug and Free That Man. The fuck you talking about? Like, like you can't that's really what he, That's what he called himself on the show, nigga. That's, but, <laughs> that, but that's what I'm saying. We're like idolizing it and humanizing it to where it's just like, nah, nigga, these niggas is monsters, fam. These niggas not, we shouldn't be looking at these niggas like that type shit. You get what I'm saying? But, nah, anyway. I'm, with, I'm with you on that. But like, and it was one, uh, last thing on this before I pop it was something that, saw, uh, that I saw in there that really had my mind rolling, and it was that beliefs. And no, I'm not, first off, when I say beliefs, I'm not talking about religion, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that part out the way. I'm not talking about religion when I say this, but beliefs are bullshit and scapegoats. You know what I'm saying? And because of that, expound because we are very cancelable right now. People, no, people really. and people done lost their lives on this for no damn reason. In this documentary, uh, when this dude was going around killing people and shit, uh, the she was old in there, <coughs> but she was like five or six at the time, uh-huh. and told her grandma to hey. Lock your doors and stuff like that. There's this crazy motherfucker going around killing people. Right. And shit. And she was, no, I'm, I'm, you know, old timey in her ways. Oh, I'm from the Midwest, you know. The way I grew up, I don't, we don't believe in locking our doors and doing all that stuff. Da 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 da. And then next thing you know, ended up being one of the victims. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of the times when people be like, oh, um, you ever, like, okay, let's say, I don't believe in video games. Fuck you mean you don't believe in video games? They're real as fuck. Fuck, niggas play the bitches every day. But you know what I'm saying? But you ever, you ever, have you ever yeah, heard somebody I'm say, sorry, I don't God. believe in such and such, I'm but there'd be some, like, I don't some shit that's un- and, like, uh, what you mean they're out here, though? Like, like, I get it on certain, like, thoughts and mindsets. Like, if you're against them, like, okay, I don't believe in abortions or something like that. I get that. Eating because pork, that's, because eating yeah, beef, like, right, that's like that. different. But shit, like, as far as, like, Safety <coughs> and things like that, things that are like mindset things or whatever like that. It's like it's it's that, not. Nah, that's bro. a slippery slope to talk about though, because when you say that type of thing, a lot of those often stem from the belief systems that are legitimate. You see what I'm saying? So they some of them stem from the religion or they stem from the like where they come but from. See, the, but see, those, none of those are what I'm talking about because that's why and that's why I said no, because like, so, because like okay, for instance, what is there? For that lady not locking her doors, bro. Because in their religion, their community is close enough to where bro, this is an Americanized safe. white lady who loved the L.A. Dodgers and the Lakers. In their Christian community, it should be safe enough 
Well, niggas make excuses for anything. Well, you hear this? Shit? No, but like, bro, no, that's but, that, but that's what I'm saying. No, but that's what I'm saying though. That's how people are. It's not like I agree with it or not, but that's just how it is. That's I, what their belief is going. There's always a belief for some. So no, I agree with you. Beliefs are bullshit. They're just scapegoats for something like in, in reality. Nigga, you don't really have a reason. You just making up excuses for the shit. You see what I'm saying? And that's and that, but that, but that, and that's. I, the, no, I get, I get what you're saying. I'm just giving you what they gonna say. Like, no, I got a reason for it, motherfucker. Oh, and yeah, no, <laughs> see, and, and what I just said, and like, and like, that's exactly how I'd be at their ass too. Like, for because it's, bro, I just. Like, what do you mean you don't like your doors? I've only been to one place where we ain't lock our doors, and that was in Las Vegas, New Mexico, bro. And I'm talking about, bro, half the people on the street was family, and the other half was damn near family. I mean, when I got... But check it, bro. There was a population, bro. Their town was probably as big as Pleasant Grove and Bulk Springs together. So, look, I ain't going to say... Look, I agree, Porsche. I just don't think not as much. When I got dogs, big dogs that can roam all throughout my house, I don't really feel the urgency to lock my doors. You see what I'm saying? Because if you walk in my bitch, you set your own risk. Because them dogs going to bite that shit. You see four pits growling at your bitch ass. Tell me if you going to walk in that bitch. The niggas don't raise your bitches. Let me tell you. Oh, no, no. I know. Uh, uh, I you know. Never, you, you see what I'm saying? So, to that extent, it's not like you're not doing it. But it's like if you forget, I got dogs that roam every corner of this bitch. You walk in that bitch, you better close that bitch as soon as you can. Because this bitch is going to run, 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 run. So, to that extent, mm. That, that would be, man, that would make me feel mighty safe to not lock my doors in that bitch. I've been bit by zebra fence twice. <laughs> See, you know what I'm saying? That, that's the only, that, that's the only scapegoat I'll give you on that one. And I've known that if, nigga since he was born. If you ain't got dogs oh, in every man. corner, don't leave don't your shit unlocked. Dogs, man. Don't give a damn, yeah, man. man. They guard, they, they are, they do, they, I'm guarding my shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm and if anything is unfamiliar, I'm on that posterior. That's right, you know and what I'm saying? They, and dogs smell you at the street. Don't think you, if you think that you snuck up on a dog at his house, you are very wrong. They smelled you before you got in the perimeter of the crib. They, oh, yeah, my German Shepherd would be in the back, back. Like, I'm talking about by the dirt road behind the house and would smell your ass and start going off if your foot touched the sidewalk in front of my house. Crazy. That's, that's, that's facts. Brent, Brent say, that, look, we don't lock our doors, but break in, and if my pit bull don't get you, my gun, and there's enough guns to stop you. Like, thank you. And what did he say? Uh, that's what I like you. about Texas. <laughs> the dude just inserted a DQ at him and hey, run that shit though. But not, nah, but like in the essence though, like when like when people just run around and they is like beliefs can get to a point to where it's a bullshit fucking yeah, cause like, ex- excuse you, for shit. Yeah, and sometimes it holds you back because you'd be like you don't try certain things because of your beliefs, and it's like, well, why? Why not? Well, I just don't think that, you know what I'm saying? I just don't believe, well, I mean, you may really like playing games if you ever try that bitch. You may really like, like, going out to a fucking mini golf or something. You may really like going to some go-karting. You may really like uh, skydiving if you never did. No, I just don't think. Joker, take out your ankle. <laughs> no, I get what she said. No, no, that's freaking funny. <laughs> Pull up the cup. Heck yeah. Them shit's be gone. Them shit's be gone. Another thousand stars for me. Put it out. Oh! Oh, shit. 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 Oh
It's just a style. style you know what I'm saying? But, like, but yeah. your fingers could be good if you know how to play with them. But it's nigga, just, those type of niggas don't get in just random jump fights. First person shooters. All you gotta do is get the jump first. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. I don't give a fuck. You could be holding a motherfucking M60. Open my door. If my if by the time as soon as you open that door, oh, if I met your steady. ass first, do you're done. I'm from Georgia and I've no places for people to disappear. Don't worry about the rest. Bradley. Oh. We are keeping this positive. Oh yeah, but but, but tell me, you can say Georgia, but, but bro. That's everywhere. To, but bro, but it, but even in like not to like brag on the state because it ain't nothing to brag about, bro. But. Texas, bro. Texas has a lot to brag about. Like, there, no, I'm saying, but, bro, there's a lot of fuckers. Like, there is way too much. Can, just go to the 903 the alone. There's can, way too much woods. Niggas say can. You know what I'm saying? Like, going out there. Hell, at, matter of fact, when you just go down, just start hitting 175. Uh, you know what I'm uh, saying? Oh, God. It's fucking nasty. 175. Texas right is there. a big ass place, man. Combine, all that, yo. So I can't have more than a 10 round clip in New York. Okay. That we make, that make nigga. nigga got that first round zombie gun. That's how you got it. <laughs> oh, what's going on, Rose Quartel? Say New York in the building. Oh, God. Texas, New we York. We got two York. motherfuckers rapping that Texas shit. Texas to New York connection. Shout out to Rachel, because she know what the hell's going on. We're going to pop a nigga ass. Bradley say he ain't even talking about Woods. He talking about the hood. Y'all better ask, <laughs> y'all better ask Rachel. Me and Marcus be on go at the cookout. You don't know uh, what you're talking about. Say it. That shit's real. Sp- hey, no, let's keep it pulled up, though. Hey, don't forget to be pulling up y'all topic suggestions. And things uh, over in there, and let us know y'all thoughts on the uh, what kind of trailer we'll get to those uh, at the end of the show. Oversharing, what's up with that? Oversharing, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go to my palm pilot. Remember that shit? Yes, sir. I'm gonna, check my, I'm gonna check my palm pilot. Archie, did you ever have a people? Yes, he that old. Nigga, I. I had to fuck with the moleheads, you know what I'm saying? The moleheads didn't have nothing else. What you talking about? I ain't never had no beeper, man. My mama asked me, my mama said, what you know about a beeper? I say, middle school, nigga. Mama, I shouldn't have told you. (laughs) She said, I was like, look, man, them old heads had to, that's all they had, so I had to. Gotta hit them with the Uh, I saw some, you know, a little post on motherfucking socials, and it got me thinking I wanted to share it and have us talk about it. Stop sharing your dreams with people who are sleeping on your couch. Let that marinate four seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like English class. Repeat it one more time. For the niggas who didn't hear it like me. Stop sharing your dreams with people who are sleeping on your talent. Amen, brother. I can agree with that. You know what I'm saying? We can go further. And that's really with just sharing your sharing your like dreams and shit with anybody that doesn't really care either. You see what I'm saying? Or just sharing it with what's kind of high five. And I will take it a step further to go with sharing it with social media. Okay, I can agree with that. You see what I'm saying? Because most people on your social media, you like, and this goes back to earlier, callbacks, motherfucking, they may be followers, but they probably just watching to hate on your shit. You see what I'm saying? So when you put that shit onto the what's called it, they can, whether you believe what it or not, whatever you may believe, they sending bad prayers. They send print. They send in prayers for your downfall. They send in bad vibes, bad yeah. juju, bad yeah. whatever. When they see you on some type of positive shit, they over there in their head. They created a little voodoo doll and they poking that motherfucker like, hopefully these motherfuckers don't succeed. So you don't need to post everything you fucking do. And a lot of the reasons people be depressed and upset and sad about that shit is because you posting the shit way too fucking early. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Y'all motherfuckers Or expecting know. a certain fucking reaction from it, thinking you're going to get it, and then when you don't get it, you get your feelings hurt. Simple. Yeah, y'all know how bad we wanted to tell y'all that we was forming the Kool-Aid shit, even though we was we gave y'all a hint that we was forming the fucking, fucking crib and shit like that. We, we hear that shit until we got this bitch for the simple fact. Ain't no type of reason for this bitch to slip up. We need this bitch to lock the fuck in. Mm-hmm. So all that oversharing and telling people your life, one, 99.9% of the motherfuckers you telling about your life don't give a fuck. So I, even I, if they acting like they do. I can promise you. Now, if you just need to vent, vent. But most of the motherfuckers, they don't care. They don't give a damn. They just, like like Bradley said, they going to they gonna, they gonna smile in your face. 
and go somewhere and be like, ooh, you heard about that shit? They mm. just got evicted. They ain't got no work called. They asked yep. me for forty five dollars for gas money. <laughs> I gave it to them, but I know I ain't gonna get it back. But like that type shit. You you ain't like just go share all that shit with these motherfuckers. You find the ones they really give a fuck okay. about you and you keep it between them. If they ain't hate you, they did right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's true. They most likely fake it. <laughs> yeah. But that's some. That's what some I had on that. that was, I guess that was my little mini rant. No, but that, that was inspirational some real, rant for you that guys. Was some real, that was some real shit, man. That was some real shit. But uh, I'm actually going to do a little switch reverse shit here. On the topic. He just did order. a Uno record. Uno yeah, record. Yes, sir. We ain't did that either. God damn it, bro. We got to get on our and shit. And now that we know that Monopoly's still back up, too, hey. we got to, bro, we got to. I, I, said that one time. I don't know if you can see it because there's no people buy in the trash can. Oh, we could run three on the book. Nah, nigga, what's that shit? I said the fucking chess set. The chess set? Oh, oh shit, we could run that on Xbox. So I got two chess games. Yeah, we could run that be live. Nigga. Oh, we could run live, too. Uh-huh. Oh, we could also run Take a Hit and Cheech and Chong Opera. Nah, once what's yeah, Kyle come back, yeah. we got to run we that bitch. What's what's Kyle, what's Kyle, what's Kyle, what's Kyle, we need to run uh, Cheech and Chong Opera. Can we get back? Yeah. We should have ran that shit the other day. I mean, shit, if, y'all, if, if we thugging, we can run this bitch long and pop that bitch over to run that bitch I'm shit. Saying, it's yeah. whatever. We none it's of what, us, we ain't working. I mean, shit, I'm off tomorrow. Po up then. Simple, it's up, it's up to y'all, though. Yeah, uh, need Opera to get high, high. What's, okay, yeah, I said I was going to switch the order. So, games to be sold, not told. Go ahead, pull up. Oh, because we were just talking about that shit right before the fucking pod. Yes. And I don't know what it said. Fuck, I don't even know how we sparked that shit. But us talking about it, motherfuckers, what's y'all, <laughs> this, the phrase alone, what's y'all thoughts on the phrase alone? Say it again. Game is to be sold, not told. Oh, you said that. I didn't say that. We was talking about it. Um, I think in a way, well, because I know, highly disagree with it. That the, was that was that was my position. For me, it's ba- for me, it's backwards. But the only reason why it sticks and people roll with it is another thing, tradition, because it's been that way for so long, and people know. Yeah. Well, to get anything in life, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna cost. It's gonna pay for it. That doesn't that just because some shit's been done a certain way for a long period of time <laughs> saying, Run that shit. doesn't mean that <laughs> doesn't mean that that's the way shit that's the way shit's supposed to go. Cause, cause yeah, and now I remember what sparked it. Cause I was talking about how but you showed me uh Brody uh music on the reels. He he posted his Instagram and he had it. You know how you can t- tag music now on the through Instagram and he had his own song through it. I was like, good, that mean I, what I told him worked. He actually went through TuneCore and signed his shit because he was asking me what's the best distro shit if you want to be independent, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, and I was yeah, like, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. other niggas would be like, oh, bro, you got to come through me. I give you, you know what I'm saying? I pay, you pay me this, that, and that. I give you blah, blah, blah. I stretch you up and this, that, and other. Mm-hmm. It's reality. Nah, fam. The game is to be gave to the, like, everybody, bro. If you got it, give it to niggas. Because one, why are you scared for other niggas to eat too? Because that either mean... You don't believe in your shit enough, or you just selfish in the motherfucker. And two, yeah, nah, fuck that. I, I don't give a fuck. Ain't no nigga me. So here, nigga, I ain't give you this, this, bro. This, I give you my exact nah, fucking dude. layout and tell you how I'm doing everything, nigga. Here, nigga, this is everything I'm doing. Cause you still not gonna be doing it like me. You try to copy one way I'm doing it right now. I'm gonna switch that bitch up again and do some other shit. You can have that way. That's my old way. You can have that style. I'm Ugh. done with that style. Bro. Ugh. New style, nigga. Don't. Just, 2022 now. Yeah, I'm tired of that. Like I told you, bro, it's, it's certain sauce you just can't get to these folks, bro. On God, Rose Cartel, I fuck with that. I like that one. Each one teach one. And you know, you know exactly what I mean, bro. There's some sauce you just can't get these niggas. Like my sauce, bro. I just can't get that away. That's just some, <laughs> that's some sauce you just can't give away. It's reach, reach one, each one, teach one. On God, like that, bro. I could try and give you the sauce. There's no guarantee you gonna get the sauce like me. That's the thing. Like, so why is there even a point in me trying to See, give you sauce? Because you could be lost in the sauce. But see, but you got, if you get the splash, you get the drip. But the sauce is forever, you know what I'm saying? The sauce is forever. <laughs> the sauce is forever. I ain't gonna lie, the sauce ain't forever. Don't let them lie to you. The sauce is temporary. But you, nah, the sauce is forever. You gotta change your sauce up. If you got the ingredients. You can't, you can't keep using the same sauce for the rest of your life. Man, look. You gotta switch the sauce. Nah, KFC shouldn't have changed their sauce. Motherfuckers shouldn't have changed their sauce. Everybody changed their seasonings and none of it's the same. Pizza Hut, they done lost the dominoes, so they shit ain't the same as it used to be. Everybody done changed their secret ingredients. They shit ain't the same as it used to be. Pizza Hut shit ain't the same. Everybody done changed their secret ingredients. They shit ain't the same as it used to be. Everybody done changed their secret ingredients and they done changed. Guess who didn't? McDonald's. 
about McDonald's been the fake shit since the beginning. Still fake. Oh, I did like Wendy's barbecue recipe before they. They they buy buy barbecue is still legit though. They they still got that b- 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 barbecue. Nah, I mean it's good, but it nah, ain't nah, that bitch got me. Nah, look, that bitch got me licking the motherfucking container, kid. Fuck, that, that, I gotta admit a little flaw in myself. That bitch be had me down bad, fam. That Wendy's barbecue be had me like. <sighs> trying to lick you like, bro. Hey. That Wendy's barbecue is hard. Bradley, I, somebody put their foot in that shit. Like, and now, Bradley, that's what he was saying. That's what I mean. That's basically what uh, Isaiah was saying. The thing is, I can tell you how to do it, but I can't make it work for you. At all. Because it ain't, sometimes, I mean, it ain't meant to work for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I, it just in this stream shit alone. You know what I'm saying? We've given motherfuckers game plenty, plenty of uh, times. And whether it's set up. Anything, motherfuckers will turn around and copy, and it will not be the same. Why? Because you not us. That's just what the fuck that is. Mulan Szechuan sauce. That's that shit that Rick and Morty brought back after they uh after it was discontinued, right? That's the one that Rick and Morty ended up got more popping again. They did some kind of Szechuan sauce. Is that from McDonald's? That's that sauce that yeah. came up that everybody wanted. That's been gone for years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that yeah, no, that was that, that was definitely. It. I that want that dipping sauce, Morty. <laughs> I need to start watching this shit more. That's my shit. Ugh. I gotta get. I definitely gotta. Frick. I gotta, Frick. I gotta want the fucking uh the Rick and Morty grinder recipe. Though. That nigga always bourbon. Ugh. Yeah, 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 I mean, tell him if I don't use this bitch. Yeah, right. alcoholic. Ugh. Oh yeah, that bitch been used already. At least the mobile. Mm. Simples, we gotta set up our other camera to where we have like games and shit like this. We can set the camera right above the board. That shit would be cold. Yup, it ooh. Sweet chili sauce. See, that's when I heard it. Sweet chili sauce. I remember that one. And Panda Bang. Panda Bang. That shit that sounds, sounds racist. That sounds like a good time. Shit do. Oh god, Panda Bang sounds racist. Alright, let's go ahead and get it though. That gives me it. Army of Two vibes when you have to kill it. Let's get sport let's get sportsy with it though. Because we fuck with it and we know some of y'all simply really fuck with it too. So let's talk about that two way injury, bro. Oh, bro, that shit was scary, and it made me feel so fucking uh, football was satisfied in my choice when I gave up football. Risky, yeah. because that shit's crazy, and I hope he's done. I hope like he's done playing football. If he comes back, that I don't think it'll be the smartest decision if he wants to. I'm gonna check. Let me if, check if, your. Uh, I'm gonna check. If he out. ever wants to like. Conti- like be a healthy person again, he, like and for people that ain't too much in the football, if you ever seen the game, uh, what my guy the Jason went through on the game, that's light skin nigga name. Yeah, I yeah. Think so. What but Jason? You talking about? What Jason went through on the game is about it's the same the concussion shit, all that, and that's most likely a concussion mixed with a back problem. <laughs> that's some type of nerve ending the way his thing. Cause so two weeks ago he went down. For people that don't know. Tua, uh, Tua Talakatova. I'm sorry if I fuck his last name up, but it's kind of crazy. Tua Talakatova. And he played quarterback. He went down a couple weeks ago from a head injury. He got tackled. Oh, shit. Travis, appreciate that light. Big T. How up, Travis? Lynch. He went down from a, a tackle. He had a head. I think it was a, he hit his head on the, uh, on the ground. Got up. Took about three steps. Fell to the ground again. Boom. Took him out for a week. Did they little concussion protocol, I guess, and they brought him back the next week and he played. He ain't playing this week. He better not. Hell no, he better not be playing. And so he got tackled in his last game. Rose Cartel, appreciate that light. Why that bitch just popping up? You been in here. I feel like I've been bullshitting. They've been thinking that's what they want to like it or not. No, that Rose, he, he, he be thugging. Uh, oh, yeah, but I don't think he got, but bro, I, I don't think two is done, though. No, but he man. should be. He though. should be if he wants he to be, be. A, if he wants to be healthy for the rest, like for you a don't want to be lifestyle. one of these other, like one of these CTE dudes oh, or sorry. on some, you know what I'm saying, on some other shit and like. I'm, and so he went down, and when he went down the the, the second time, his the, like immediate reaction, his body started tensing up, and I'm not gonna try to like this isn't for jokes or anything. His but the way his hand started moving is he started like fucking like you know what I'm saying the way as if your nerves start fucking up. And when that type of thing happens, that's a lot of serious shit. And that's like, it's not a, that's not a. That's not oh, something you just, uh, that's not uh, something you just blow off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And just brush off like, oh, that's just whatever, whatever. I'm feeling good. I can walk, run, and do all this. I'm yeah, good. nah, you gotta, take, you gotta take that place close You're attention. fucked up. You that's, a, that's a few years you know, of healing. 
I yeah. give you I give you an example on nerves or whatever. When I got caught on fire, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying the story I done told and shit like that, bro. I'm forever fucked up off of that because when I did get ca- caught on fire, it fucked my nerves up to where just at any random time or whatever, bro, I could just out of nowhere just and I ain't got no control over that shit. Yeah, just I ain't got no just just a, just a quick just a quick. I ain't got no control over yeah. that shit, bro. And yeah, as soon as some shit happen with your nerve, that is immediate. And so it's serious. Like, and it's like. If it's anything close to a spinal one, if he tries to play again and he keeps playing, any next injury is gonna be worse than the last. They just gonna compound up. They're not gonna be so it's like I'm not wishing this on him at all. I wish the best. I hope for a full good recovery and bro is straight and he can keep playing and do whatever the fuck he wanna do. But science and chemistry and physics and equilibriums and all that extra big word shit. Tells Thanks me. for those cups, y'all. I see y'all pulling up with us. It tells me. Travis, you wildin', bro. Fam, I know. I saw that shit. Yeah. I, I, I really he hope. He exposed himself in an open pool in about five years. I really hope. The pretty sea bitches, he may know. They be out on the block every night. I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> they be outside. But, uh, so yeah, I just I just hope the best for that nigga. Niggas was cracking jokes about that shit and talking about this how I be after she uh suck it up after you bust the shit. And it's like, yeah. Cool, y'all can have fun, but that shit ain't. Yeah, I guess with stem cell surgery and shit, they do got crazier shit they can do. But yeah, I still don't recommend, bro, play football no more because that shit's scary, bro. To see this shit stroke up and lock up like that, fam. And as, like as an actual, like as a former pro- football player, bro, that shit, like, bro, scary. hell no. Nah. When you see niggas on, like, you seen a nigga come to the sideline broken finger. Oh damn, snap that bitch and go back. But when you see a nigga just laid out and his shit gone and he's stiff as a fucking board, bro, and then like that shit's scary, fam. And they go, the, the fucking dolphins with. are gonna risk his life again just because they need a fucking quarterback, bro. That whole organization needs to go down, fam. That shit trash. Somebody need to buy their ass. I ain't never had to wear an ankle on my boot. Besides ankle on my football. boot. A boot Besides, on your ankle? Oh, yeah, a boot on my ankle. <laughs> That's why that nigga named Ankle. He always got nah, something wrong bro, with this nah, shit. Nah, I'm just saying, the first time I ever fucked my ankle off like that was football. Yeah. Football is just a dangerous sport. Football is dangerous. I fucked my shit off. Boy. I always see hockey players concussion. take concussion. First time I ever got a concussion, football. That, see, and that's what's crazy. Like, you never know with that type of shit. Like, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. safe ways to tie, safe ways to everything, but once you start having injuries, Injuries just compound on each other, yep. especially nerve and muscle and different things like that. So yeah, it's like shit. you can't keep playing with yourself when it comes to those type of injuries. Niggas got to get out when you can. Shit, but hey, sorry, that was our sports session. We got anything? What else we actually, got? Actually, no, we, we got actually got, got, no, got, that, was just got our, that was our injury sports yeah. session. We got some funny sports. We got, we got two more. We got a... Uh, we do got funny sports because that little meme. I want to go look at that meme. That y'all, the Tom Brady <laughs> meme, right? We got Tom Brady on this bitch? Yes, I want to go find a Tom Brady yes, meme. Because I know it wasn't real, but that shit was hilarious as hell. Tom Brady. Tom Brady legit like a bitch. Boy, he's straight out of Florida now. Fuck you talking about? That nigga gonna go get some wicks in that bitch. You got that nigga fucked up. I believe that. You got that nigga fucked yeah, up. Yeah, island boy. Yeah, that nigga Tom and be a straight island boy in this bitch. Bradley, what you take me? Check the uh, inbox. Oh, okay, Brady sent me in by first. Troy Aikman didn't remember the Super Bowl. Oh, that boy got that big dually truck with the 4x4. Woo! That whole lift, too. That whole up there. That boy Brad. We got big shots. And it's a big cab, too. That ain't the baby cab in that bitch. Bitch, all he got to do is pick that bitch up, nigga. All he got to do is put two wheels on that bitch. I don't think it's that easy, but all right. It is that easy, bitch. Mods. <laughs> GTA motherfucker. It but it's here. still a big, big truck. Who said Tom Brady gonna marry Gronk? That, <laughs> that ain't even right. Nah, look, 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 look. Giselle responds to Tom Brady divorce rumor. This all stuff. Uh oh. Dramatic reading. Yeah. Y'all got me sweating and shit. It's hot as fuck. Story time. <clears throat> this all started when we moved to Florida. This all started when we moved to Florida. <laughs> I'm sorry, I lied to you, Martin. I just didn't want to go to Florida. I didn't want you to go to Tampa Bay. I want to play in. I want you to stay in New England. Uh, nah, okay, look. This all started when we moved to Florida. It was like Tom became a different person the second we crossed state lines. <laughs> His smooth olive skin turned into a chap stinking red leather. He started cutting off the sleeves on all his shirts. He goes grocery shopping shirtless now. He applied a Salt Life sticker to our Land Rover. Salt Life? What does that even mean? I've asked so many people, 
No one actually knows, but everyone sits there living it. I told Tom, it's Florida or it's supermodel water. Ah, wait, that shit came out ugly. It, uh, <laughs> it's either Florida, Tom, or your supermodel wife. He looked at me, took off his shirt, went to go buy something called a pub sub, and he doesn't even eat fucking bread. Giselle on Florida changing Tom Brady. <laughs> now look, that shit can't be fucking real. <laughs> Bro, it, I hope it is. Oh my god. That shit can't be fucking real, I bro. Hope it is. Ain't no way in hell she said this nigga goes and fucking buys his shit slightly. Did you yeah, screenshot it or did you go to the post? I took a picture of that shit. Damn. No, I, I, that was the post. I hope it's That's real. on sports memory. Yeah, that's, yeah. I, that's what automatically let me know that that was a motherfucking. It, it has to be fake. Sports memory is the thing. But that I mean, I'm, I checked the comment section, though. You know what I'm saying? Just to, just to, just to see. Let me see. The amount of people that can't tell this is satire. Okay, cool. That's the first Boom, one I see. I bet. So yeah, that's why I wanted to read it. It was kind because it's just how funny. As I fun. didn't see the Antonio Brown little post because I did hear that Antonio Brown posted a picture. So I'm gonna look that up right quick. He because besides his little wild thing in Dubai with him showing ass in front of the chick and his little king of whacker and shit. Uh, yeah, he was exposing motherfuckers and shit. And luckily they sent his ass out instead of locking his ass up for a long time. Because bitch, you playing in Dubai where you can't even smoke weed. Like, nigga, so flashy well, and so all that weird, shit, nigga. Yeah. They'll cut your dick off of that shit. Boy, you. It's honey, a brad just did that? Yeah. And there's video. Nigga shoved his face in the bitch. He, like, like she, they was in the pool. He was like, what's called it? The little picture that they showed, which I'm glad I didn't see, it, sh- it looked like the nigga, like, floating on top of the water and, like, with all that shit. But then the video I did see, she, like, he, like, kind of waterboarding her, got her in the water and shit. She trying to come up, and then she comes up, she comes back down, like, got her down there, like, by the air and shit, and then. And she's walking away. He like jumps and puts his face in her, fr- his ass in front of her face and shit. All types of weird shit. So let me. Go. I don't think I gotta see if I can find Motherfuck it. Motherfucker's weird with that shit, bro. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's that CTE, bro. Like he ain't, he ain't it. And don't bring your ass to my team either. Uh, get some help. Aaron Judge hitting his sixty-two home run, the most home runs in a. Uh, in the in the American League, now I mean whether y'all give a fuck about the sixty two home run, I don't care. I'm not even a Yankee fan. It's Rangers over here all day, every day. I'm pretty sure y'all got y'all squads, but I read my home team. Oh, uh, but he be smacking. Fi- I'm not gonna finish that thing. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, go yeah, 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 don't do that. <laughs> oh. This one's right here, boy. <laughs> hey, I was trying Look. to, but it's the truth. I gotta find a better way of saying it. Back in the day, to be hitting them out the park like a motherfucker. Yeah, he been hitting homers like a bitch. Yeah, yeah, like that. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I was listening on the radio on my way to the house, and they were talking about it, and they brought up a good point. That yeah, oh, no, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't on the radio. It was on. Uh, it was on PTI on ESPN. And Will Bonnet then was talking, and he was like, you know what? I don't even care about the 62 because at least, like, back in the day, you used to, like, know the record and be able to keep up with those numbers. Yeah. Now you don't because the way they done fucked up the game, you know what I'm saying, whether it's NBA, NFL, and shit like that, motherfuckers breaking records left and right. You know what I'm saying? I'm Fake gonna... stats. Oh, you just walked into another one. I fuck these uh-huh. sports ones, bro. No, that, fake that, stats that, in general. Because there's a new stat for everything. Music, sports, everything. There's a stat for fucking everything now, bro. Okay, I can agree with that. Am but, I fucking wrong? No, Why are we no, holding no. on? Because. Back, I was finna say, uh, nigga, back when, when, you know what I'm saying, a nigga would go to a baseball game and catch a ball, bro. You know what I'm saying? You would want to keep that ball, right? Right. You know, it's like, damn, it's an experience. Damn, nigga done caught a ball at a baseball game. Bro, you know how much they offered for that nigga ball last night? I heard it was like a hundred thousand was the what some dude did. Two million. No, that's not what they offered nigga. him to walk out. That's something that he got like now too. Man, say, hey, you, you. He has been offered two million for that ball. Yeah, you know what? Hey, I'm coming up off that. I'm coming nigga, up off that. Nigga, I was watching that. the ESPN shit earlier. He had it on. They didn't offer him two million. Yeah, I, I heard some other shit. No, I heard it's a, it's a it's a home run ball. I heard some dude. I heard oh, some man, dude man. came Niggas up to him out of the crowd and had offered him a hundred thousand. That one I had heard Police right had off to top. Yeah, he had to get he had to get es- he had to get escorted out. And 
I mean, I ain't heard anything, but if nigga, if two mil come across me, yeah, that bitch gone. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. That bitch gone for two milli, bro. Because guess million. what? Not only is it gone, but I'm also be in the record books. I'm still in the record books forever. You still going to the book. Yeah, and selling that bitch. Uh, <laughs> 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 and selling that bitch. Getting rich. And selling that Do you hear me? Quick lick. So the thing for real. Is, it's an auction now. Because yeah. everybody's going to want that bar. Because that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's that record breaking bar. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna have a sixty third, whatever with home run, but that's you the better sell that motherfucker before so he now his next one. He's that's in this bitch, especially with the internet. You this nigga get, take this bitch home. He finna cake that. He finna cake. He don't have nigga. He don't have to go nowhere. He can take that bitch home. Get him. A, he need. Man, he need no. to make a nice little case for that bitch. Sell it before he hits put that bitch on the home. thing. All he gotta do, post online, record breaking ball. And just watch the fucking auction. Nigga. Get it autographed. Auction starting at two mil, cause already nigga. Get rumors, it autographed. Rumors spread that it's two million. That nigga just saw the post. It's already a, it's spreading on the Dallas on the Dallas meme page for sure. So if it's on the Dallas page, that we that's that's for sure. Dallas think it's two mil. So it could start niggas bidding price start at two million, cause that's what niggas already think. Niggas gonna go two oh one, two oh this, two oh this. Now granted, it's only gonna be the base ball fanatic, but niggas is gonna go. Yeah, shit, wherever you want to stop, you stop. You okay. cash out. If that's if all, well, I go that's, immediately. Nah, but I'm saying, but that's why that because the and I'll tell you why because there's been stories like this uh, before when it comes to whether it's balls, merchandise, memorabilia, cards, anything collectible. Like collectors will get them and they'll hold on to them for so long and then they won't be valued. The same, you know what I'm saying? The same way, the same way, fucking okay, so some of them baby babies case. and shit. So yeah, so there's sometimes where you gotta but a record breaking ball. No, but motherfuckers, you, you gotta know. But the thing is though, that it's just like gambling. You right. gotta know when to capitalize on that sale. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because like you say, what you say is right. If he would, if I snatch that two mil, if I if I could wait at least a week, right. see what it's like, and may, and possibly make more. And get rid of it, you know what I'm saying? And then even if I don't get it in that week, I can still go back to who originally offered. You think they're gonna say nah? Right. Nah, I'm still gonna freaking cash out. But if we one of these old collector motherfuckers who sit on shit too long, then you risking that value, the value of that Dropping shit depreciate. You know what I'm saying? Because if Aaron Judge flame out next year, guess what? Yeah, he broke that record and did all that, but motherfuckers ain't gonna care. If you do that shit right can't now, that's the talk year. of the fucking town. Got you. So and you can wait, but you can't wait. Every home yeah, run he can't, hit. You can't wait too long. Every home run he hit from now on is another record. Well, no, that was just, that was, that 62 was just, you know, nah, but in, that's in, what a record, season. in a season. Yeah, in a season. Nah, but no, but they that's got still, one more game. They, they still got one more game. So he can still go higher and, break, and go further season, past. The season ended today. No, he had it, but they had a game today. Yeah, and the Rangers won. The season ended today. But he didn't hit nothing? Oh, so it's done? Yeah, season's I saw done. Today, they was like, he still had one more game, and he was he was lined up. The, su- the, the season, from what I from what I heard when I went to go get my reloads, they said the season was done. Okay, and they lost. Uh, and the Yankees lost. Yeah, yeah. Rangers I beat them like four would, to two or some shit. Uh, okay, so I wonder if he hit any of what's called. Yeah, I, but that uh-huh. but that wouldn't matter. So the Rangers won. But whether, yeah, the Rangers but, won. But though. whether he lit, uh, stri- like made it further or not wouldn't matter. It's the one that broke the record. Is what it's the, yeah, it's the so one that's, that's going to hit. That's the one that people care. So Rangers are done playing or no? Yeah, Rangers done playing. Is there a playoffs or whatever, or is it still like the play, no, the, there, There's season. playoffs, yeah, but we ain't in it. Oh, are we sorry this year? Got potential, but yeah, we sorry this year. <laughs> I'm trying to pull it up right now to see if he got anything. But uh, hey, Sippers, let us know if y'all got anything. Pull that shit up. We got an AB raid on Sunday that he snatched. That he says is an AB yeah. said on Sunday that he smashes it. Oh, he just that, talking shit. That's what Chanel. Uh, that's what Shannon Sharp. Uh, he he ran it on the other day because he posted he posted the picture of Giselle and him in the Super Bowl and put in the caption was like put that shit on it and that's his little song and shit. And then the rumors of the of Tom and her divorce and shit. And then fucking <laughs> apparently he said he smashed too. I don't know why AB doing all this shit against Tom though, cause Tom was the only nigga that was vouching for that bitch ass. Nigga. Exactly. So you on see he on some other shit. Nah, and see I think right there. Tom got Tom got shooters. Y'all he didn't that, even play today. Y'all see that one clip of a nigga tried to say talk shit to Tom and he like touched him and then all of a sudden three of his linemen ran up on his ass and like started beating the nigga up on the field and shit. Uh-uh. And Tom that didn't do nothing. He just he just started walking towards him. He literally just walking towards him and, and the fucking lineman coming around him and start pushing that nigga on the ground and shit. I'm like, yeah, Tom got shooters now. So, A.B. better quit playing. Tom gonna get his ass. I'm telling you. 
you're gonna bring out the vets and shit. You're gonna have up you're gonna have Damian Woody walk off a of first head like, hey y'all, Stephen A, excuse me real quick. I gotta go handle some business real quick. Motherfuckers like, think we playing. Like <laughs> I mean <laughs> Love him or hate him, Tom is that dude though. But, can't give that nigga no credit. Fuck that nigga. Shit, nigga, them yeah. shit still in the books, though. Yeah, yeah, fuck him. And, yeah. Where'd that come from? I'm a quarterback. He what else do you like about his game? He, he, he's overrated when it comes to actual ability as a quarterback. Who? Tom Brady. Oh. Uh, ability as a quarterback, he's not, he's average. Uh, leadership. Probably competitiveness. I I can't really see as much. Like Romo's more of a competitor in my opinion than Tom Brady is. Well, you think it's a, you think he went in with his smarts? He he he's a good leader and he has he's he's a, like he's strategic enough. But even then, Peyton Manning has a better fucking quarterback brain than him. So I wouldn't give him best at that either. You see what I'm saying? He's the most winningest, most successful. You see what I'm saying? He is the Jay Z of the Football. NFL. You know what I'm saying? To an extent where he's not necessarily the best at anything particular, but overall, overall, you can't really say nothing about the dude because look at my fucking, look at my fucking accolades. Thank you, baby. So are you. You already know it. Rose, I mean, yeah, you got the cheated to win thing, but I even overlooked that. Just look at his, like, go look at his highlights. He don't have too many plays where he's like super fucking, uh, Accurate, nothing like that. He does a bunch of check downs. <laughs> right. He, he throws a bunch of the safe plays. He, th- he throws a bunch to the check downs where he has the dude that's just sitting there wide open because all his receivers are covered and shit. Or he had niggas like Randy Moss. And don't, I, I, I forget the name, but he had a few other like really good, Welsh Welker, a couple good ass receivers throughout his years and shit to where like he wasn't making the receivers. He got good receivers and they just made each other better together. You see what I'm saying? It's not like an Aaron Rodgers situation or certain areas where you got no names and these motherfuckers is throwing these niggas open and shit. He just got good receivers and he getting a good system where he got Bill Belichick and all other types of shit to set him up for success. But you put any other good quarterback, like he's not trash. Get that clear. Oh, no, because he went to Tampa Bay and got one. Exactly. But he took half of his Patriot team with him. You see what I'm saying? That was a super team. You see what I'm saying? Like it's not, it's not like it's not like he went over there to what they had. He took Grunt. He took what? He took Thug. He took uh, Blunt. He took Woo. He took. He took. I mean, not Blunt. Uh, what's it? Uh, nah, uh, let's start with an F. I think. No, nah, you talking about uh, a fucking uh, running back? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, he from was, LSU. Uh, I know he. I know who you're talking about he, though. Yeah. He took. He took. He took a bunch of niggas that was already established over to what's call it that didn't work out. He didn't have a situation where like in. The, and I'm gonna go to Romo because that's my nigga, but he didn't have he wasn't put into a system like Romo, and when he did, he wasn't doing shit. And then he threw fits and had to get out of the fucking Patriots because he didn't like how it was being run because they was going through a down drought type shit. You see what I'm saying? So that's just my big yeah, Tom Brady. But I can't can't argue. Like I, I'm not gonna argue with niggas about Jay Z. I'm not gonna argue with niggas about Tom Brady. But nigga, I have gripes, bitch. Let's pull up the film. You don't want to pull up the film? <laughs> hey. Well, shit, wait, we can go ahead and uh, end it with what y'all been sipping on. You know what I'm saying? What y'all been pouring up I on. I just finished, in, I, did I just finish Invincible? This, I, I finished Invincible. That shit was good, too. Okay. I didn't realize that was only a fucking one season. That shit grindy as fuck. That shit get gritty as hell. Damn. That, that shit get I need gritty to go as hell. Yeah, I need to watch that. That's another bad there. Superman that's done right. The boys was good. I need to push on fun. Oh, I'm finna start back watching Gotham again. Cause I don't think I even watched the last season. I did watch the first four, okay. And I don't think I watched the last one, so I'm finna watch back Gotham again and just rewatch that shit. What the fuck was we saying? We finna watch too. Uh, Blade. We gotta watch the Blade shit. Yeah. There was a show we said we had to watch. Uh, early and it was like during the prior earlier today too. Bro, this nigga's never seen Rocky. None of them. Not in full. I've seen them to an extent. Not in full. There was some there was some show we were trying to look at this shit when we got time to play. Damn, that's irrelevant. I wanna say I watched that Queen Latifah and uh Ludacris Ludacris. shit. That yeah. shit was hard. That shit was funny? Yeah. I wish that Ludacris, you know, doing Ludacris. Yeah, got them really good. I was enjoying it. I like the takes of the characters. I like 
I like when they take lore that's already established and do a twist on it. So making everybody young and doing different shit, like that shit just would fit. Amazing Cookie says, what about the movie Nope? I haven't seen that yet, but I need that movie, to. That movie is the title. And I ain't even seen it yet. But it's a Nope. Jordan Peele got to do something else with his what's called with all these fake woke wannabe deep all these plot lines, extra shit going on and other shit. I may watch it because Kiki Palmer in it, but at the and Glenn in that. He gonna watch it just because Kiki Palmer in it, but that just don't mean he gonna. He may. He probably ain't gonna like it. Yeah, because I don't. I don't. I don't expect much of it. Is what I'm gonna say. I don't expect shit from it. But yeah. Uh, I mean, well, shit. I mean, I said early in the topic. We gotta finish that cyberpunk uh, show too. Yeah, we do gotta finish that. I just finished. Uh, well, I, I just finished that damn Night Stalker series and shit. Uh, that I mean, that's pretty much. A, oh no, nah, me. Uh, me and my girl been watching Psych. Psych, like uh, the black dude and the white dude. Yes. They, yeah, I think I used to watch that shit on uh, fucking that, uh, fucking. TV, it was, it was one channel above Cubo. I don't exactly... Ion. Ion TV is what I used to watch that shit nah, on. Nah, bro, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good show, bro. It's a really like, good... Because, like, I had only seen a few just, like, scattered around, but not, like, had not just seen and watched it. But I was sitting there watching, and I was like... I was fucking with it, but then I was like... Man, I thought some wrestling on. But then I was like... Nah. That's one of the shows, like, was saying, it, it was just... It, bro, it was... The shit, it's, it's, it's well written. That's one of them shows like Blacklist. It's, it's like very it, well written. It came on on TV, like a TV, like a daytime TV when we would have been on school and type shit, shit like that, where like your, your grandma was right after Judge Judy or some shit. Come on, them times where you wouldn't think they good shows, they just shows the past of time, but then you sit there and watch that bitch. It's like, oh shit, nigga, this hoe good. My name is Earl, some shit like that. Like, this hoe really good. Like, nah, Psych was really good. I didn't expect Psych to be good because this was the nigga didn't have cable, nothing. This was the little box you had to fix the antennas and watch shit. Nigga watching Ion just to find some shit. Nigga see that shit and was like, oh yeah, nah. This whole lit. The little black the black dude in that bitch funny. I think they even got a movie too. I think they got I think they yeah, there is get, I think they got a movie. All that, that shit, shit on, all that shit on Peacock. All that shit Oh nah, we was talking about uh we was talking about the Chucky series. Oh yeah. That's yeah, so what we was talking about. Chucky, yeah, you said I had to watch Chucky. Yeah, because uh Chucky debuted season two tonight. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling Hobie, I like how you gotta back. watch. Yeah, you gotta watch the first season. If y'all haven't watched it yet, it's fucking perfect. I watched the second. I watched the first episode of the second season because I like flashbacks. That's how I look at it. If I skip ahead, but bro, there's shit. flat. There's flashbacks. You, you gonna have to, bro. I mean, flash- no, that's what I'm saying. So when I'm watching, oh. the first one is like a flashback. Like I skipped ahead, and now it's like you know how they start the movies. You know how they something start something movies off where it's like, yeah, that's me. Know how the fuck y'all got here? Let me show you. So if I watch season two, episode one, I'll be like, oh, shit, how'd they get here? So I'm going to go all the way back to season one. And then, For you sure. Know what I'm For sure. I feel you on that. But, hey, nah, I mean, that shit, that's pretty much what the fuck I've so been shit you been trying to watch up. You want to watch Dahmer? I've been watching, like, the first three episodes so far, man. I ain't going to. But that was you watching that shit. I really thought it was him. No, I mean, he can't, he, that's why, that's what got me on the human shit. Because he was explaining, he was like, bro. That shit was lit, bro. And I'm like, I ain't too much like that shit. I ain't say it was lit. I said, this nigga crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, and I try to say why it was crazy and this nigga wasn't trying to like, how, like, not why he crazy, but how you know he crazy, like, from the jump, from when he was little, and, you know what I'm saying? His parents, instead of, you know what I'm saying? If his daddy would just try to, like, just go along with it. Like, the nigga was into dissecting <laughs> animals. And it wasn't even random animals, bro. Like, he find roadkill and just let his son just cut it open. And his son would just grab the heart and just, like, look at it. Like, they found a dead animal under the fucking house. His dad got it out with a shovel. This nigga starts touching it and shit. He was like, well, it's all right to be curious. No, nah, nigga, don't touch this shit. This shit's fucking nasty, bro. You can wash your fucking hands, bro. We finna wrap this in a bag, throw it in the trash can. Fuck is you talking? Like, all right, so look. And see, this is why I don't Little like was that crazy, shit. crazy, crazy from the because jump. Because... As a nigga that's not crazy, but I hear that shit, I don't automatically jump to crazy shit. Because as a curious nigga that used to like animals and science and all that shit and wild crats and zabuma foo and animal, you know what I'm saying? So dissecting shit, seeing shit that they're figuring out how that shit works, isn't 
automatically crazy. So them showing us that is like, well, damn. So maybe he wasn't just too much gone. You see what I'm saying? Bro, kill, what bro, made bro. him tick? So now it's something that's made him tick. You see what I'm saying? No, we don't need to be relatable to this nigga. You see what I'm saying? That's my issue. All I'm saying. But I, I know I hear you. I'm just saying that's my issue. I don't issue. like dissecting shit. I don't like touching dead shit. It's right. Dead, bruh. I don't even like, you know what I'm saying? When I was a kid, bro, and I see something dead in the road, I'm not even riding in the road no more until they come get you. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I used to be on that type of shit. Like I get dead you. animals. I'm like, yeah, like, that shit weird. I got you. I got you. There's this one little SA kid. They almost beat up on the block because he had a fucking dead squirrel tied to the back of his fucking bike that he was just riding around with. I was like, what the fuck you got going, bro? You watch it was like 10 of us. And we all got mad at that nigga. We made that nigga cut that fucking squirrel off and bury his ass. I got, we went to the backyard, got a shovel. We said, nah, dude, you can bury that hoe. We just drug that hoe around the block. He said, but I found it. It was already dead. What the fuck, bro? It's on some killer shit. That nigga was on some killer shit. What the fuck? He ride around with a dead squirrel. That nigga like Carlos shit. off of St. Road, too. He, yeah, he guy. He gonna, next thing, he gonna grab a person's car and just drag his ass around the block. You you watch anything else? Nah, I ain't really. Watch movies. That movie is Quentin Tooth and shit. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. 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 Then we can be out of this bitch, man. Already. Hey, Sippers, appreciate y'all pulling up with us. I mean, hey, it was a badass episode. I mean, topics were dope as shit. Shit just flew. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We did. We, hey, we own it. We gonna be back at y'all. Isaiah's up in here with the streams and shit. What else you got coming, bro? Oh, shit, my birthday on the 9th, y'all. So that's gonna be a Sunday. So I guess y'all gonna see the pimp on the DTKA show, so... Cause I ain't got nothing else to do. You finna go see Pusha T. Monday. We gonna have a lot of, this finna be a busy week. Y'all finna get videos, y'all finna get music, y'all finna get all types of shit. So, yeah, stay tuned. We gonna try to fix up some different streams so I ain't just game streaming on them streams too. We gonna do a bunch of shit. So, stay tuned for us. We got a lot of Kool-Aid to pull up on y'all later. Hell yeah, a lot of shit, y'all. Stay sipping. I'm sorry I didn't pull, uh, bring my cup with me today, but y'all already know the motherfucking motto, though. If you ain't sipping, you're tripping because the Kool-Aid's so good, even a diabetic could drink it. You know, that's how the fuck we rolling. Hey. Y'all keep those cups up. Stay rocking with us. Make sure y'all hit those likes. If y'all haven't, make sure y'all hit those shares. Exclamation notify in the chat so you can follow the page. We also have a YouTube. You can find that link. We have a Discord. We got all that, y'all. Stay sipping with the same. I'm telling y'all, we trying to get the Discord back popping. So, whether it's watch-alongs or all that shit like that, all you got to do is jump in there, and we got we, we got you. We got you. You know what I'm saying? We just got to find out what the fuck we watching. Money so, bad. Money bad. Ri -ri. We busted the lights so. open. Pull up. Do you hear you. me? Yeah, yeah. Shit, boy, that shit look nice. That shit, boy, that shit look, look nice. Fun. He said it's giving him SpongeBob, that SpongeBob vibe when he had the jellyfish and shit. Yeah. And he was in that bitch dancing with that house and shit. Like, da 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 it's a party. Hey, it's a party. Hey, hey, it's a party. This that smoke, Rose Cartel. You can't see the skull. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, you got it there. See the skull? It's that smoke right here. The four foot killer. Ooh, killer. Ooh, ooh. That's smoke. That's smoke. I also gotta change the water. Oh, look, he looked just like that. He came to the Oh, yup. 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 Just like that, bro. Just like that, bro. That's how we rockin'. Nothing like that, that shit, fam. Pull up. This one is just RGB. I knocked it off. I'm not gonna hit the cop car because that bitch gonna get some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, Who's Rihanna. Next? That means we gonna test all of that shit on you then. I'm sorry, but <coughs> shit, my kid folk had them hoes too. Who's next? Gotta grab you by the boo boo, though. He need ice for his booty hole again. <coughs> ice. Hey, that's real story though, bro. Don't eat that hot shit. Might hit that bit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tell me when you ready. I have to fix myself. Nah, I'm gonna just let you clear that because you. That shit is hard. Both of y'all be <laughs> tripping, hitting that bitch first. <laughs> Neither one of y'all filled that hole all the way up first. <laughs> no, Archie. No, Archie. Should I throw some more? <laughs> yep. I'm gonna say, I got a whole bud right here, shit. Fuck it. Let me throw some of this little fresh in there for you, too, though. Hey, hand me a water real quick. My shit dried in the bitch. Ah, uh, you already know. I'm underwater <laughs> right now. I'm going to say he underwater right now. All right, you ready, Horst? <coughs> oh, shit, hold on. I got something, hold on, I got something right here. Uh, got oh, you got it? Already. Hell yeah. I didn't want to show them how you want to show them. Damn, up. that nigga, God damn. Woo. That's supposed to be the smoke. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, shit. <coughs> Them lights don't alert, alert. <laughs> Y'all know Wakanda forever. Oh, yeah. That shit gone, yo. Go ahead, Archie. Oh, <coughs> my God. You ready? Oh, he think he big doggy. Y'all... You want me to pull that bitch out? <coughs> he think he big doggy. Oh, my God. Yeah, look. <laughs> <coughs> Boy, you gotta get that. Hey, look, that's how our lungs feeling. <laughs> the build up was nasty on mine. This nigga shit smooth, creeped up. Yeah, nah, his shit came out of the <coughs> His shit creeped up fast. I hit that hell hard, too. My shit just sat at the bottom. Oh my god. He dead, yo. Pass that shit. <laughs> yo, nah, I ain't passing nothing. I'm finishing this nah, shit. Nah, you gotta kill this shit. Finishing that. Oh, we shit. ain't no bitches yeah, right go. here. You gotta get that. Nah, there you go. We gotta Ooh. kill the <clears throat> Damn. Uh. High, so Woo. Going out with a banger. Banger, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nigga. Hold up. I need more time than I thought. You got I need more time. All right, this isn't going to fit in there, too. Ooh, I tried to go back too early. That shit stale smoke now. That shit going to hit even harder. The more you let it sit. I, uh, I, tried, I, I, fucked around. I fucked around and went back too early, though. I had to should have let my shit sit. Sit a bit longer. I went she back say, there. man up, babe. Ah, uh, <laughs> Blessings, Rose. Yes, my boy, Red Rose. Yes, my God. Okay. Yeah, I can see through it now. <coughs> it struck like lightning. Make me look like a bitch, Archie. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that shit up here hitting his ass. Bob the backwood. Oh, damn it. Right back. God damn. Y'all thought I was putting my hands up like I was fucking just chilling. Like, yeah, I did it. Nah, I was trying to breathe. I'm in flesh. I need some more. I'm going to add a little agua in that bit. Let that bit bubble up on it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just keep looking at it. Mo Blunt's guy. This is how we ending it today. You ADD bro? Yeah. Oh shit. Man, right, just watching us having a smoke session. What's what's popping, y'all? <laughs> nah, we lit. Yeah, I'm God. We got to smoke we before lit. we get arrested. We throw anything in it. We got bags. <laughs> they still something in there? Ooh. Oh, that's all about that. Ooh, that's all about the dope. 
He said, oh, oh. We about to see how this go. Y'all ever just want to come get high with your guy? Oh, she said you were like, fly. With the, with the <laughs> lights in your hands up. I let you, boy. Oh, I love you for that. Look at that red, though. Look at the way that red hit. That red hit hard. We gon' blow. Flat out. Who it's light like, me up? We got two people, bro. Right, I'm, play, I'm playing with you. I'm standing up. I don't know if it's because he stood up on that motherfucking cake. Hold on, take it out. Let me kill the best I'm playing with the lights, y'all. Tell me what color y'all like best. Y'all like the red? Ooh, ooh, That shit hard. Oh god. There was there was a whole hill right there, boy. <coughs> <coughs> I ain't no bitch. Ah. Mm. Oh shit. Ah <sighs> fuck. Alright, never hey, hey, hold on. You ready? Yeah. Alright. <coughs> Like a ooh. Oh, I wish that shit was getting video the way that shit just came up. Take the ball up. Take the ball up. I'm finna get that. <sighs> <coughs> Take the ball up. Take the ball up. Take the ball up. Cups up. Get that man some motherfucking cups. Get that man some motherfucking cups. For real, get that man some motherfucking cups. One hit pull up, one hit clear. Get that man some motherfucking cups. We in up. Hold up. For real, for real. I think that's the first one hit. You know what I'm saying? No. We'll clear on that bitch. Cause he said, why the homie got darker red while homie was pulling? Cause he went to the he went to the other side. <coughs> yeah, he still like came back yet. <coughs> he can breathe. <laughs> Nigga, he catch his breath for the last one is still hit the other. <coughs> oh my fucking god. Oh, god. That's fucking wild. That is what the fuck I'm talking about. Thank you, baby, for those cups. Appreciate that shit. For real, yeah, for real. He says, if he is out of here. Probably a little bit of both. Yeah, now we can just... <coughs> just take, we can just vibe on out. <coughs> yeah. <Take a> little bit. <coughs> Another one. <coughs> <coughs> This shit fun. Ask me who told me to shoot him. Who told you to do that? God did. God did. God did. <laughs> God did. Oh, damn. <laughs> he said, my guy's like out of the... <coughs> Man, I'm still smoking though. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I'm good.